Yo, everybody. Uh, so I just wanted to start the stream on time because I said I would start now, but I'm still in the process of setting shit up. So it might take a few minutes, especially since also OBS seems to have forgotten my settings. All right. There's a lot of shit going on that we had to take care of. And in the middle of all of this, I have to fucking play Twin Snakes. Seriously? Uh... Obi Kins, thank you for the 47 months resub. Uh, okay, OBS is just ignoring my hockeys. Cool. Uh. Okay, hopefully that works. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change the, um, the live notification. So, it still says, please disregard. Uh, whatever. We'll get people in here. So I'm still in the middle because if you remember last time I streamed from my PC uh, with MGS5, I had trouble with the controllers and the key bindings, the controllers disappearing, reappearing. But that was annoying. And I'm trying to put an end to that once and for all and actually fix it for good, which I think should be okay. But now we gotta, I gotta rebind everything and. Uh, And the emulator changed too in the process, so that doesn't help. Yeah. Let's see. Oh god. We're gonna get some background sound effects right now, but... Not quite time to start. I'm just messing with the controls for now. get there okay this stupid shit window is refusing to actually be the size it needs to be without stretching the resolution all right we're doing some technical setting up right now okay I wanted to, but it takes like three buttons, which I don't have found. <laughs> nice. Oh shit. Okay, it's a good thing I did that now. Guys, I just wanted to start on time. The screen. And fix that shit right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think we can actually go full screen, maybe.
audio levels to adjust. Everything is there to adjust. What the shit? Whoa, 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 whoa. be able to see anything right now but I mean I guess we could but it's just live setting up of things um, also let me see yep okay we also we're also gonna need something on screen which I make fun of but I actually need it find it. Oh god, I'm, I'm kind of lost without that image. <laughs> This is the controller that we're gonna have to sync with. Yeah, dog, I just wanted to start a stream on time, but I, I'm i still in the middle of setting things up. So that is a GameCube controller um, button setting, button si um, arrangement in the form of PS3 controller. But this is how fucking stupid it looks if you were trying to play Amdus 2 with this controller. That's what we're doing right now, essentially. So imagine playing Amdus 2 on this thing. But the main button is square. There's no select, there's no L1. And personally it pisses me off, but the analogs are not lined, but whatever. A lot of people actually prefer that. <laughs> um, so to know which button is which, I actually have to to look at that. Uh, I'm gonna share the pain of trying to do this actually live for the first time, probably. Uh, let me get rid of the switching thing. Hello, did you capture the device? There you go. Okay, so if you wanna go by this controller, uh, here are our controller settings. So in this game, uh, you have this is AMG Stew Engine, so um, yeah, that three dog. That's why I said imagine trying to play AMG Stew on this thing. That's exa ex exactly what we're doing here. We're playing AMG Stew Engine with that controller. So first problem: select and start. Select is missing. What shall I do? <laughs> um, yeah. So to open the start screen or the codec screen you actually need to press start and a which is square wait now square is currently circle what okay so x is okay let me see what it says there start press start plus a to exit so i would have to press start and x no fucking way. Who the fuck plays starts and that started next? So we go to our controller settings and we painfully figure out which fucking button is which. Um, so, button X, which is square, which is the main fucking button on the controller, is to crouch. No, I don't want to do that. I want to crouch with X, but X is A. And A is in the top right of the controller. So 
so that's that's painful because that's not where you're supposed to be resting your thumb thanks gamecube controller um so yeah we're gonna sit through this and figure it out so i want to crouch with a so we're gonna turn a into x i guess but i'm confused Okay, there you go. I'm gonna turn X into A, rather. Okay, now I can crush normally. Now, if I want to punch... Okay, oh, this is actually correct. <laughs> Except there's something about it that's missing. Okay, so B... But if you look at the controller, like on a, on a PS2, you punch with circle, which is on the right. And in this fucking controller, it's in the bottom left. Um, so, yeah. So that's stupid. Uh, but then, okay, so crouch and punch. Now, um, I guess X, which is A, which is, I, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I think maybe, call, do a handstand while taking a shit to answer. I, I couldn't answer a call if I wanted to. Uh, let me see, let me see. Let me see if I can grab people with... Right now, the only thing I have bound is the, the analog and the four face buttons. That's gonna be fun. Especially since I can't see shit. Let me see if I can grab this guy. Okay, this is correct. <laughs> and fuck this controller. Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to put in just you engine on this controller? Um, okay, so I'm going to assume that Y is triangle. I think with the face buttons, you think we're ready right now. But, but, as you can see on the controller, there's no fucking L1 button because, because Nintendo thought it was a good idea to have three f shoulder buttons. Um, so the function of L1, which is to auto aim, uh, is actually assigned to circle. So we're gonna randomly punch things as we try to aim, but since I do have a PS3 controller here with an actual L1 button, what we're gonna do is, okay, so circle is B, we're gonna assign B to both this button, button B, in fact, and L1. So we gotta go to the advanced button settings and say button B, so B is either button B or whatever L1 is, uh, maybe they actually call it by name, so shoulder L, put an OR in here, do shoulder L, uh, let me see how that works, yep, okay, now we can punch with L1, which is fucking alien, or I'm just do, but that's also gonna be the auto aim. So as long as I aim first, I won't punch. I will uh, I, I will raise the gun first, so it won't punch. It will aim instead. But that's one thing you gotta do, and that's without even getting to the fucking <laughs> um, codec and start uh, menu or pause screen. So start, as you can see, I'm pressing start. It's not doing shit because it's so great. Uh, so I actually forget which one it is. It would have to be start and circle. Okay, start and circle for the pause screen. So when I press start, I gotta tell it, look, I'm actually trying to enter the star menu. So I'm actually pressing start plus B. So we gotta tell it that uh, let me see, this is logic, <laughs> programming logic here, uh, that when I press start, I'm actually pressing start and B. So B also needs to be fucking start. So we have three buttons on B. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think that's, that's how it works. Anyway, if I put an OR here, uh, start, Apply. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now by pressing start alone, 
I can pause. Like you're fucking supposed to. I would say thanks, Fox Engine, but yeah. No, we bring this back. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. So we have three things on B. Look at this. B is B, L1, and start. Now we're going to do the same thing for... Um, for the codec. The codec is start and... Wait, no, I can't do that now. This start and A. So A is... What is A? A is X. Uh, so start an X. So we gotta tell it that X is also start. Um, no, no, no. X is also select. No, no. Start is also select. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, okay. So start has to be start or select. Uh, select is called back. This is a shit I had to go through every time. Um, okay, so start or back would be start. So then I, if I press select and X, no, why? Oh, select and square. Oh, that X, not this X. Okay, so select and square is the codec. And now we gotta tell it that when I press square, it's also select. This is so ridiculous. Uh, but I guess select is also start, so I, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let me see if this works. Yes. Now I can press one button to have the codec. So, th and one button to have start, and one button to aim, which also punches, but we can't really do anything about that. Uh, so that's, I, I, okay, I need to stop doing that when I tab out. Uh, now we have to deal with, uh, the triggers. Now the problem when you do that is actually, um, clear these. How to clear. Oh, go away. Okay. We just want the analogs right now, and then the problem when you emulate this game is that it takes ages for it to open. Like, I press, ah, and now it opens. Ah, now it opens. Press, you can hear me press it. And it takes like an, a, an, a year to open the inventory where it should be instant. It's good for equipping, but not for opening the inventory, so we had to mess with with uh, the threshold, I guess. Can I even change this? I should be able to. Oh, there you go. Here. That takes ages to open. Wait, maybe I gotta save. Oh god, please save. Oh god. Save the profile before we lose all this neuroscience that you need to do to play this game as it should be played. this now okay now it's instant but we have to make it so I can also quick tap to change the items and maybe put this back I remember having to be pretty high on 25% See, sometimes I want to quick change but sometimes it opens no, that's not good 100%. Okay, well, 100% doesn't do shit, but I think 99, actually. Okay. I just want a quick change. I just want a quick change. Now I want to open. Nice. This is how it should be. And then the D-pad. Okay, that's easy. Um, so, as long as you do all of this shit, it can actually be played like I'm just do. You know, as the engine should be. <laughs> oh, man. 
I didn't lose the previous settings. I lost the previous computer. So there's that. This is actually the first time I'm um, playing this on the new streaming PC. Oh, sorry, gaming PC that I have. Uh, so I think we're good. Uh, I just want to crop out this. Oh, from side. So, why is it not a dear key edition? Because we're just fixing the controls. What do you think? Um, let me go grab the M9. I also don't know if it's gonna be FPS drops, but probably. I have no idea because the emulator changed. Oh god. Who's there? Oh god. Just let me grab the M9. I guess it's a good thing to clear this area because then we can mess around. There should be the M9 in here because everybody knows the M9 and M just one is in the lockers. Um I end up fucking punching before I aim if I do it wrong. Um Okay. Son of a bitch. I think we're almost ready to go. Um, I just need to... Oh, do a handstand while taking a shit. Go, out, go outside and dodge rain in a storm to answer. Uh, no. I don't even know what the call was for. Probably to tell me to leave. Or that I can swim here. If you see an Oh, railing. Okay, shut up. Now, let me make sure I don't overdo the... resolution and stuff. 8K resolution! Wait, no, this is 5K. Okay, you guys can't see the difference. Native! Okay, you can see the difference now. I think we're good. Uh, let's check if the um, disco mode works for later, you know, when the, the music plays. Oh yeah. Ready to drop the beats any second now. But this game's music. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, it's actually kind of fun to do the setup live. Uh, and then the other thing... Damn, I wish these were... Oh! I can open both windows at the same time. Nice. Um... The other thing is this. Snake, don't forget this is a covert operation. There are a lot of bad guys and only one of you. If you're spotted, you'll be surrounded before you know it. If that happens, you're finished. First. Alright, we're all set. One last touch. But not yet. I think we're all set and we're gonna reset the game now. What happens if I Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright guys, we're all set. I think we can start now. Uh oh wait, let me get rid of the controller. Should we leave the controller on screen the whole time? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no. Hide this poor thing, please. Uh, an another thing that I've been ignoring completely, of course, is all the subs <laughs> and possible donations, whatever else came in right now. Uh, so let me thank some people before we start. Uh, let's see. So Aerie was up for 33 months, just beat with tier 2 sub for 37 months. Thank you. Mega Strife X for 25 months. Uh, Lapid Juices was 11 months. Sniper Depaya was 16 months. 
Mograth, 14 months. Gurkha, tier 2, 43 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. I freak your mom, 25 months. Whenever you read I freak your mom's donate, um, sub, it sounds like you're insulting a previous guy. Like, Gurko, thank you for the 43 months. I freak your mom. Um, Resub for 25 months. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, Cold Fear, 29 months. Roar Sadler, for 34 months. Phantom Pain of my left nut. Give to the sub to Janko. Nice. Uh, thank you. Mr. Sokiyamu, with 20 months. Paul Wall Jr., 4 months. Mansolo, 20 months. Tact, 15 months. Void Reapers, 55 months. And... Lyceria for 38 months just now. All right, we're up to date. Thank you, guys. Um, the marathon is starting soon. As you can see, there's less than 24 hours left on our thingamabob here, the donation goal. Um, so who knows if we can reach that. It will be up to you guys. But yeah, we're about to get serious there, there's a lot going on we're about to not just start the marathon we're about to take the channel to the next level and promote things and go fish over a few things and get involved in a few more serious things um that you guys will hear about and it's thanks to you guys that we were able to do it and we are able to do this but yeah just just a little hint right now uh the map screen looks like cock and balls that's all you need to know about this game. Good call. All right, guys, let me start. Or rather, reset the game. Uh, oh, shit. The Jizzy donated 30 bucks. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst game in the world. Twin shakes. Uh, do you want to put that towards the donation war? Because it's, it's technically a bastardized version of mg one we can technically do the donation war um so yeah let me know in the chat whoever the jizzy is in the chat if you want to put this 30 dollars towards saving oh we actually are called the jizzy in the chat okay <laughs> i thought it was somebody who's changed their name thank you see lucas for the 33 months thank you uh, Meryl has been saved before. You never know. So that could be a thing. I always want to give people the option to put their donations towards a choice if we're doing some form of MGS1. Ugh. Okay, um, and before we start, actually, in case you don't know, the reason that we're doing Twin Snakes is because Mint donated $1,000. So thanks, Mint. I know you're out there lurking, probably. He doesn't like to come out much, but thanks. Again. Uh, let's get started. Oh, God. I, I actually, I really was not in the mood for this. But I gotta keep a promise. If somebody donates a thousand dollars, we play Twin Snakes. Let's do it. nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You 
will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. SDV gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, Specialist in Interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yeah, mess messing with the volume, guys. Look at these lasers that were so skillfully added. <laughs> and hopefully the rolling levels are balanced now. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. There are a couple changes that actually I made but were lost. So this is the old version of the DRK edition where there really isn't anything new. And to, to be fair, in my defense, I wasn't planning on playing this for another five months. So yeah, I imagine it would be something by the time we actually do the April 1st run. But this is the, the original DRK edition, don't worry. Um, Shoot, we play the, the, not the tutorials, the, the briefings, oh god. And by the way, even after all that controller setup that I did, uh, you confirm with Square. There's no escaping from that. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. <laughs> Snake, straight to the point as always. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Nice sound design. By sound design, I mean nothing. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter, the unit's chief medic, an expert in gene therapy. She's already asleep. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. Uh. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, 
Listen up. About five hours ago, an island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago called Shadow Moses Island was occupied by special ops soldiers. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You have two objectives. First, infiltrate the nuclear weapons disposal facility and rescue the two hostages. They are DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and Kenneth Baker, president of ArmsTech. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Oh, holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's do the other optional tape here. And if you haven't noticed yet, if you're familiar with any form with MGS-1, uh, if you haven't noticed, all the characters are bored. They phoned it in, they maybe... I don't know what the fuck they were doing. The voice actors are the same, but... If you haven't noticed the drop in voice acting quality yet, um, yeah, just, just wait, there's more. Um, everybody in this game has like sore armpit syndrome, especially Snake, the way he stands with his arm like flapping around <laughs> his arms. Um, but there's there's a lot more, especially in these briefings. It's amazing because there's literally no sound of any kind. Not that there's no sound direction, there's no sound, period. It's just voices talking to each other with nothing going on, which is funny because uh, they thought it was a good idea to add uh, little actions in between the characters, interactions and things that they do, and little quirky bullshit things that they would never do uh, in the scene, but it's just voices talking to each other in the sound apartment, so that's kind of great. Uh, but yeah, uh, give me a second guys, actually, I gotta fix something. I gotta open all of the um, rules of natures and other sound effects that we're gonna use. <laughs> this is all live editing. I forgot to do this. There's gonna be things to work with that we're gonna need, you know? So yeah, let's get that ready in a corner. Um, let's, let's leave here, see what happens. Great voice acting and sound direction. I need toes, thank you, I'll go over resubs in a bit. Colonel, I'm off duty now. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday I have to be in Anchorage. The Iditarod. What the fuck? The longest sled race in the world. When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. It's so bored. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake. But this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. <laughs> Why should I be stupid <laughs> enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Oh my You're god, they're still pushing each other. You committed a whole lot of crimes of treachery during your days as an agent. Oh, I see. <laughs> it seriously just makes you go, what the fuck? Yeah, hold him back. No, Snake. He's gonna beat up it's Campbell. It's just a little scheme the brass thought up. But anyway, I know you. 
You'd take this assignment even without any threat. What's that supposed to mean? You are a natural-born soldier. You can't live a normal life in peace. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier, too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. Maybe I should do an entire Twin Snake stream with this voice to reflect the voice acting quality in this game. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, it sounds like I need to sound more. I'm asleep. <sighs> anyway. If it's your first time seeing this, be prepared because it's full of shit like this. The characters doing because they, they they were trying to be hip, they were trying to be cool and real in the Nintendo kids who would play this. So yeah. It's full of crazy shit like this. Let's do all of this. Uh let me thank some people, actually. I've been meaning to. Um I think that's actually the man himself, Mint26, resub for 28 months with a tier 3 sub. And it's thanks to him and his $1,000 donation that we're doing this. So, what can I say, man? Thanks again. Uh, and DRGay69, another actually legendary supporter, uh, with 62 months. Thank you. Probably got banned from China, but whatever. Uh, Shock, thank you for gifting your sub to Panda Squish. Tiny Toast for the 46 months. Thank you. Uh, Bompi, or Bompai, how do you pronounce that? For the three months. Welcome back, thank you. And Grain Imperium donated $2.34. Torment of a voice acting. Also, did I, build, did I build my gaming PC? Yeah, yeah, I've built all my computers since, like, I don't know, forever. The only computers I haven't built are like the ones my parents would buy back in the day. But as soon as I learn how to tinker with it, there's no really any reason not to buy one. Uh, but hey, let me know if you want to put the donation towards the donation works. This is, in a way, in a twisted way, I'm just one. But we are having a donation war if you guys want to. Uh, let me continue here. Oh god. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So, someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, My God. air insertion is impossible. Mm, not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. 
Weapons and Equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Don't worry, they're gonna do all sorts of crazy things. They push each other, they stare at each other, they touch each other, they sit together and cross their legs together. Uh, they manspread in front of Naomi together. Um, Campbell forgets who the members of Fox Sound are. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, okay, so Green Period wants to put his donation towards saving Merrill. And sorry if I missed it, but we had another donation from Jizzy for 30 bucks. Uh, which I'm not sure if you answered in chat. If you want to put that also towards something, now is the time to let me know. Because I'm setting that up now. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we have to do it live. But there's new OBS. <laughs> we have to make it rough at first and then adjust it. I should really just leave the source there once we figure that out. Uh, let's add maybe an outline. Not a white one though. Who thought white and white was a good idea? I don't know. And here you can actually get a pretty good idea of the quality of the music in this game. Just listen to the three second loop of techno music in the background. That's how the whole thing is gonna be. <laughs> that's that's the music in Twin Snakes. Oh well, oh let me change the font here. I like this font because the zeros are actually crossed out. You can tell when a zero is a zero. Wait, no, it's too big. Wait, I know what we can do. I think I usually do it this way. Okay, that's a little better. Pack the music for life and it gets crazier. <laughs> okay, let's let's continue. My god. Uh Grand Perium. Oh shit. This will go towards killing. You happy now, chat? Oh, were people complaining that you were saving? Yeah, I mean, there's... I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, but there's... I'm just gonna say there's good reason to kill Mero in this. Thank you. What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? He checks his watch Five now. hours ago. <laughs> Damn, the amount of detail in it. Is my sound on? Who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. So, there's a lot of crap hitting fans in the White House. No, the crap and the fans are still video conferencing with each other. No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. They change one line without changing the other line. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. 
The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry. Yet, is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes, and so is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. <sighs> Another thing that they get wrong is that, you know, I'm just want to actually show you Nastasha's or Merrill's file on screen. And here we just show it to Snake. So the player doesn't get to see anything and there's complete disconnection of Snake being the player in that aspect. Which is later reflected also because Snake himself nods at the player. Because these people who made this game didn't really get the notion that Snake is the player. They talk to you as you're the player, you're Snake, but whatever. Uh, that's the least of their problems. They have way bigger problems. Maybe we'll Google them later, we'll see. Silicon Knights. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where is she working from? Her home in Los Angeles. California? California's a lot different than this place. I haven't really done Nastasha in this, so I won't be calling her. Maybe that's that's a project for next time. Raging Demon, thank you for the 14 months resub. And I think that Kojima wanted them. Actually, let's talk about this. Cause somebody asked, when did uh, when did Kojima come out? When did Kojima come out of the closet? Now, uh, when did Twin Snakes come out? It's actually interesting, cause Twin Snakes came out uh, between Andrews two and three in 2003 which is actually the time of when shit was actually hitting the fan and Kojima was facing the backlash with I'm just uh, you know they were making I'm just three as an excuse or an apology or I'm just two they, the, Kojima was being called back in they had to face all that stuff uh, so it's really no surprise that when the, the director guy who makes the crazy style cutscenes in this wanted to actually be faithful to MGS1 and make it proper, uh, Kojima was like, no, 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 make it your style. I want to see all the crazy backflips and bullet time and whatever. Uh, so it's actually Kojima's fault that we got this in the form that we did. But remember, Kojima had just been uh, dealing with the backlash after MGS2 and making MGS3 as an apology. So that's a really interesting time in Shift and also when he realized that he wouldn't be able to pass on the series to, uh, to the fans or to the development team uh, that MGS2 failed essentially. That's a really interesting time where Kojima was basically his relationship with the series was shifting because of all that. So is it surprising to me that he's like, fuck up M just one in the style that you wanted? Um, I don't care, release it that way. Um, so it's really not surprising to me. Kojima was dealing with this shift in the series in his own uh, life, really, because he would be called back to to uh, develop Metal Gear forever. 
or for a long time. You know, as you know, it's not forever. Thanks to Konami. But that's what's what he felt like, especially during MGS 4's development. Um, there's also the fact that anything that's movie related, Kojima will jump at uh, in face of being able to do something that's a movie style thing, a movie reference, or working with movie people. Uh, so that's also no surprise that Kojima jumped at the way, um, at, at the chance of having this guy do the cutscenes in the way that his movies are. I don't even remember the fuck this is, his name is, but um, crazy Japanese cutscene guy. Uh, somebody in the chat will probably know better than me. So anything that's movie related, Kojima will jump at. And we could actually go off for an hour here talking about how there's other things that in order for Kojima to make his games more like movies, he ignores uh, certain things that are actually a pain in the ass for the player because he doesn't care. He just wants to, you know, have that movie reference, that movie production value or that movie person in the game. And I don't need to tell you how many times that happened since then. Uh, but yeah, let's let's move on. You're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Oh shit, awesome, really? Kojima had a cameo in one of his movies? Why am I not surprised? Holy shit, can you imagine that Kojima probably fucking jumped and touched the ceiling at the idea of being in a movie? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not surprising. I didn't know that. Of course we're gonna have crazy cutscene guy style then. What was your niece doing there? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt, and my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's We girl. can't see her file. He died in the Gulf War, uh... and since then I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. It's time for... Oh I'm God. Friend. It ain't gonna suck itself. Since when are we friends? Naomi... I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar land. Haven't you had enough of a moody bastard like me? No. That's the part of you I trust. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. <laughs> oh, uh, but I have two conditions. Name them. One. No yeah, more okay. secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two. I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a colonel anymore. Just a retired old war horse. I understand, Colonel. It ain't gonna suck itself, Naomi. Cringe.
Yep, that's what we got. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. So, she's used to seeing men naked. Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse, I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? Make no mistake, I'm not awake, I'm asleep. And an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at subarctic temperatures. Nano machines. Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. What the fuck? Campbell too. Okay. I already talked about this, Young Snow, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, 2004. Oh, we've got a year off by one. Twin Snakes came out in 2004, and just three in 2005. So, yeah. Now, also, 2005. Well, it depends on what you're looking at. I think it's giving me the American release. But for Twin Snakes, you don't have to worry because there's only one version. The Japanese version is just the English version with subtitles. But there's no Japanese re-recording, at least. Uh, so March 2004 is Twin Snakes. I'm just three. Uh, we've got to look at... Seems like it's worldwide, was it? In November 2004. So they were pretty much recording probably very close together or at the same time. So yeah, MGS3 was being made and that could have had all sorts of effects on Kojima's feelings about this, so yeah. March and November are the same year. I actually thought it was 2003, not 2004 as well. So yeah, that's, that's interesting. Chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with a mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Holy shit, that line was particularly bad. The location on your radar. Everybody sounds bored and like maybe they had one take and they just phoned it in But Jennifer Hale in particular holy shit if I ever meet Jennifer Hale the first thing I'm gonna ask her is what the fuck were you doing for the twin snakes? Did they burst into your house and wake you up at 4 a.m. put a microphone to your mouth and then let you go back to sleep? I, I'm dead fucking serious. I'm, any of the just one voice actors, I'm gonna ask them, what the fuck were you doing in the Twin Snakes? Because you're better than this. What the fuck happened with the Twin Snakes? I know you could do better. Anyway, um... 
there's an interview with the voice cast director Chris Zimmerman Salter believe it or not that's her name Salter uh, where she claims that they understood the game better with the Twin Snakes and they did a better job because you know they were doing it a second time and so they understood the game better and it was better um, and Kojima is also the reason why we had no accents in the Twin Snakes and then just four as well um, so yeah Mike and let's not forget that Hater c cut his pay in half to bring back all the original voice actors he willingly gave up half of his pay uh, so they could have the budget to bring back everybody and that's that's what we get this is what we get imagine cutting your pay down in half to have this <laughs> what, what, like, what the fuck man like this game makes you go like what the fuck my I think guess would be is that seriously they had no time, no budget, no attention of resources nearly comparable to the other games and they just did everything in one take. Maybe, maybe that would explain it but I, I don't know, I still have no idea. It, I don't think it does, I don't know. That's why I, I gotta ask, especially Jennifer Hale, what the fuck happened with the Twin Snakes? Um, anyway, Eugene, thank you for the kind words and six months resub, by the way. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Krim, thank you for the 12 months and second nod for the 22 months. Thanks, guys. We also got a $5 donation from Old Scratch to Kill Meryl. Let me add that right away. <laughs> oh god, we had to sit through all of these because you guys gotta see the amazing sound direction. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discreet detonation code. PAL? Permissive Action Link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapon systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you can pay the money. Please put your legs down. <laughs> Ugh. How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six in charge are plenty tough. After all, they're foxhound people. Hey, you're gonna make me blush. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. Holy shit, that leg. <laughs> what? AJN with a 54 months, thanks so much. Snake just can't keep still. What is he doing? So what exactly are they demanding? What is he doing? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate. Cell specimens uh, which contain no. the individual's genetic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces. I forgot about that. Gene <laughs> Genes strengthened? 
You've heard of the human uh. genome project. They've been mapping the human genome and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes, and using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, it becomes easy to remove genes that cause sickness and disease, or, alternatively, to splice in additional genetic material. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay, and so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genetic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Also have for if you wake up. Alright, Lags, thank you for the 37 months. And AMA 11 with 12 months. Brazil Monk, 24 months. Thanks, guys. These briefings, for some reason, feel longer. Maybe because there's a lot to cover and talk about in between how bad it is, but yeah. I'll explain this part. One of the greatest soldiers ever. The man they called the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes. And his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genetic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. Oh, heck, it's like some kind of dinosaur theme park. And you're gonna put these genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't hand over his body. It's more strategically important than any weapon of mass destruction. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The sons of Big Boss. Oh, Scratch, thank you for gifting the subs to Phantom Cigar and Cuckoo Bananas. Nice. And Shin Lane's sub count is not stuck. They're, those are resubs, so they're already counted. Uh, only new subs are gonna get us new emotes, because that's how it works with Twitch. Um, I don't know. The, the Jurassic Park reference, I don't know, that movie actually had amazing effects for, for its time, you know, it still does today, I wouldn't really compare it to this game. But yeah, why not? Movie references. Tell me about these next generation special forces. <laughs> they started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. 
mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer Heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next-generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Soldiers of the video game generation, huh? Don't forget, they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought international law banned the military use of genetic therapy. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. Oh damn, we got more subs from Old Scratch. Gifted five subs. Thank you. Hobo with a $50 donation, which is gonna show up after the little sub train. It's interesting to see the twin snakes out of season. Since it's Halloween, I guess we can go for hamster ending. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're both pretty horrible, but horrifying, actually. Uh, thank you. Always so generous, Hobo. Um... Let me double check something, because a few of those gift subs were actually new subs. Jesty Fizzle and Matt Nath. Uh, Mis Mischief Maxon also. New subs. Uh, so the sub thing should move. But I think it takes like a minute to update or something. Uh, we'll see. Yep, there you go. How can an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? Oh, you'll see why it's hamster. They're calling it a revolution. Since They're they all went through the same revolution. Gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes, and perform their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that, even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We had been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. Were they trying to raise sexual tension there? People had gaming. Thank you for giving sub to old school plays. Um, I I'm not sure. I'm actually Young Snow might be aware of this. I don't know if you were serious what you said. I'm just one of the way it was meant to be played. That's exactly. Let me show you guys. That's exactly what the back of the 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 game cover says. Look here. For the first time ever, experience Metal Gear Solid in the way it was always meant to be played. It's... it's actually serious about this. A reinvented Metal Gear Solid game directed by Hideo Kojima. Stunning next generation graphics with all new breathtaking cutscenes. <laughs> oh my god, I can't... Also new gameplay. Oh god. And the way it was always meant to be played. Yep. I'm sure. Uh.
High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. And he forgets about Raven. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Oh, sounds like a bunch of cartoon characters. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Yeah, no more shaven. Obviously, this is a superior version. If you're a fan of Vulcan Raven, I guess. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man who shares your code name. The solid versus the liquid. Tell me what you know. <laughs> he fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy This game is going to make you go from solid platforms. to liquid. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. The details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <sighs> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise, you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Kappa Keeper with the 45 months, thank you. And cool, Viper 24, tier 2, 10 months, thank you so much. I think we're almost done. Uh, just the final tape where he gets a haircut, I think. Does that even exist here? I think it, it does. We don't actually see it, yeah. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Alright. Let's let the in for play again because it's been a while, it's too good. And we got new people in here. Also, for some strange reason, after you play the briefing... Um, the, the menu, there's no music. Not that I'm complaining, because the music needs to go. But that's pretty interesting.
I need to change the thing that says a hideous Kojima game. That's the next thing I'm gonna change. Here, it needs to say a hideous Kojima game. Okay, okay, okay. We can just start. Oh god. And it does say 2004. I don't know why I said 2003. Should we update the name? And, uh. Copyright at the bottom? No, we're gonna get in trouble. So, since I have absolutely no respect for this game, I'm gonna play it normal. I, I literally don't care. I'm not gonna learn it. Well, everything looks normal. the meme disposal facility. There's some vintage memes so we need to update. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. It's actually kind of interesting timing that we got that interview article out and some they, they linked one of these streams actually and now we're playing it again. <laughs> Thanks to Mint. Don't worry, the music isn't crazy enough. There's not nearly enough backflips. Yet. Tony Wing, thank you. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up, just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Everybody's Canadian in this, yeah. <laughs> this is how we put up with the uh, bad voice acting in this game. The only way we can make it bearable. So, as you know, the M9 and M1 is in the locker. So, we have some other items. Oh, he saw my shadow. Look, advanced M2 features. Wow. That includes, actually... Freeze. That includes having soldiers um, notice the bodies that you leave on the floor. So we want to put this guy right here. And he's sound effects, though. Oh yeah, the scale of certain areas is fucked. Not to mention that, you know, this isn't really a stream about complaining about everything that's wrong with the game. But, you know, certain things here and there that might bother me, because otherwise I wouldn't sit here for ages. Uh, but yeah, essentially, the gameplay was not matched to the, the level design. And that leads to all sorts of nonsense, of course. I'm just one level design, but I'm just do gameplay and features is bad. As we will see 
an AI also. Yeah, we're just sort of just going through it. But look, now he should notice the body. Uh, maybe I put him too far. I don't know, okay, he's actually walking to him. Put him too far. If you put him close enough to the elevator, uh, he won't get out of the elevator and magically make the body disappear from inside. But yeah, he was too far. These guys are kind of blind. That's okay. But hey, I hope you guys are ready for some beats. <laughs> oh god. The music. Let's do it. Disco time. The Swagmaster is back. I am here to drink milk and backflip. And I'm out of milk. <laughs> yeah, the scale is fucked. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly high in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, 
I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Sneak, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. Then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. <laughs> Solis, thank you for the sub. Um, Wing Zero, thank you for gifting the sub to Gramage87. Okay, so we are left to... Um deal with the AI. I'm just the AI and I'm just one environment. What's gonna happen, I wonder. Well, for one thing, since we have first person shooting, we can just go here and get rid of everybody. Okay, it's a good thing this guy's coming here, because we're gonna need one guy who's alive. As for the rest, just stand in a corner and kill everyone. Get rid of the camera, get rid of the guards, get rid of the searchlight because we'll get tiny FPS drops every once in a while, but whatever. Yep. We just have to get this guy. But yeah, this is the kind of problems all over the place. Oh, come on. There you go. Alright. Every obstacle in the area is cleared. But, but there's more. Because this is my favorite thing to do here. This guy. And I'm just too. There's doors that enemies can escape through when they have no other means of dealing with you because the different areas are connected with doors but in just one there's no such thing so what's gonna happen let's mess with him a little bit put him some stairs so we can punch him awake Get up. Freeze. But just like I'm just do, and this game deserves no praise for it. You shoot him in the legs, shoot him in the arm, shoot him in the radio to have different effects. So Don't kill me. right arm so he can't shoot me. Don't kill me. A leg so he can't kick me. Freeze. And his radio so that he can call for backup. So, now this guy can't do anything to attack me or call for backup. So, 
What's he gonna do when he alerts? I wonder. Who is that? Your radio doesn't work. You can't kick me, you can't shoot me. Where is he going? I wonder. Up, that way. Up, this way. That way. This way. Make up your mind, man. Up, oh, we don't know. And we don't know because this is an MGS1 environment. With MGS2 AI. <laughs> but like I was saying, in MGS2, they would go through the door into the next area. And call for backup there, presumably, maybe, in person. But in MGS1, there's no such thing as the door you can leave through in this area. So, what is this guy actually trying to do? And why does he keep changing direction? Well, essentially, since the area doesn't work, the AI has to cheat. And in order for it to cheat, he has to get away from me. But even that fails. Because that's the way it's handled in MGS2 as well in very, very few areas. But they made sure that you can't see it happen. This is actually just like the Phantom Pain. You know, they couldn't be bothered to uh, refine the game in such a way that you don't see what you're supposed to uh, not see. So, in this game, they fail even that. Because if I do let him get away, we can still see him. Because it's so well made. So, where is he gonna go? We can see the magic happen in real time. Look at this. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Now he's healed. And he called for backup from behind the truck <laughs> and the guy disappeared from there okay yep just a small example of why you don't put mgs2 ai in mgs1 environment among other things but hey let's leave whatever whatever You're gonna notice footprints, both of them. He's looking at, at each single footprint by itself. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's okay. I think everybody just respawned now. Oh well, I'm on my way. Even the guards move in slow motion or something, I don't know. Hopefully these little tiny FPS drops will stop because this is actually HD textures in this area. That's pretty much all there is. Oh, and I should mention, yeah, that's that's the alert music. I sorta of got used to it now, but I don't know, ration froze. But yeah, that that was the alert music. forgot to point it out just because that's just how it is. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. But why is there a helicopter in the background? DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. These guys are idiots. First too. floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? 
Did something happen? There's an intruder. <clears throat> really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. You know what I haven't seen? Uh, the so-called pistol conversation in the Twin Snakes. I wonder if it's even there. Oh well, too late now, we already have it. But in the other event, there's a conversation about the pistol if you don't pick it up. Which I've never seen the Twin Snakes version of. Already tech reset for 19 months, thank you. Rock Maroc for 13 months, we're tier 2 sub, thank you. Old Scratch gift reset to philosophy, nice. Uh, Pinkaroo Dorfino, thank you for the 37 months. Tier 2. Why did I miss all these subs? Thanks, guys. Uh, Hexagon Sun, 58 months, also. This animal just can't stay still. I need to set the dead zone a little bit uh, more accurately, I think. Because, yeah, uh, let me see this. Um, how to dead zone. Maybe 10%. Okay, that seems better. And now we have another amazing MGS1 environment with MGS2 gameplay. So it all works itself out because as you hang, the final step that's part of the hanging animation, it actually makes noise on this floor that makes noise so we're gonna lure the guy away and jump down all in one uh hold on let me actually yeah there you go <laughs> well that's it that was hard we didn't just make 95 percent of the area useless yep I'm just a little conflicted because I want to pick up the, um, the thermal goggles. So, we could have done that and then went back. Call, press three buttons to answer. Look at the radar. It's picking up the dark. Oh god, shut up. How much for a serious story around the Twin Snakes? Are you kidding? There's no such thing. At least you can see Merle's nipples a little better. That's still kind of shifting around. Let me add some more dead zone. A serious. I think there's people who speed run Twin Snakes out there. Like, they actually challenge themselves with this game as if it was any other Metal Gear game. I, I don't understand those people. Not to be offensive to them, but I simply don't understand how you could dedicate actual effort to this game. A woman. Not him. But uh, yeah, I guess people will speed run like Barbie games, so. I'm challenging my brain cells, the two brain cells that I have left to rub together after this game. Uh -huh. And it's almost time. This is the first real cutscene after the intro. And from now on the rule is, whenever there's a cutscene in the Twin Snakes, something crazy is gonna happen. Who's that? 
I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you are here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. Yeah, I don't think Rex good, looks good because w once you get there, it will be obvious. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These uh -oh. guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? It begins. The unnecessary crazy shit. It begins. that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... <laughs> they found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. 
If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key... So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Dead. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... I, I don't know. It I was asleep. Attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. What are you talking about? Hardly. What do you mean does this guy's work after he's dead? What? He has a pretty good disguise. 
Oh god, oh god. It's a cutscene. It's a cutscene in Twin Snakes. What's gonna happen? Something bad. Hugo, thank you for the 20 months. And we got a couple donations. $3 from Mr. Killer. It says keep up the good work, thank you. Let me know if you wanna add it to the donation, like artwork for the $55 towards killing Meryl. Love to stream in the channel. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. You get a happy birthday from the chat as well. Probably. Because whenever you mention birthdays in Twitch, chat goes crazy. So thanks for Twin Snakes as a gift. Oh god. Don't forget to kill Meryl. Yep, she's pretty dead right now. Um, but what's what's gonna happen? Can we have one normal cutscene in this game? Just one? No. No, we can't. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like it'd be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. And the alert music kills it. The mood completely. This is the alert music. Hmm. Okay. But we can shoot him first person now. So that's great. I'll take that. We can hide in here now. No. Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna take a shit here. At least we can leave them to Meryl. And like, I'm just one now. Like, still come here. <laughs> Getting my ass handed to me in the bathroom. Wow, we have lockers now. I sure am glad that the game is a fucking mess. But now there's lockers. Oh man. As you could tell, I probably don't really care about learning this game. They're still frozen, we should probably equip it. Oh, that's right, there's grenades now. Oh well. Oh, something lag there. Now we can do this. Best game. Oh shit, it's a cutscene in the Twin Snakes. Do you guys think we can have a normal cutscene next? Um, hmm. Thanks for the help. Wait! Who are you? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. 
His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. If you haven't seen this game before, why is a question you'll be asking yourself a lot. Why? Yeah, don't call him the swag master for nothing. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Uh, so we're hard with three dollars donation. Thank you. Final leader case playing the best MGS again. Kill Meryl. I was afraid you'd save her for a second. Thank you. Uh, let's see. That's three more. Okay. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Let me eat a potato. I had to stop and think about what the button is. Uh, let me see if I the door is open here. It might be worth picking up the thermal goggles. Is it open? It's still open. Okay, let's go pick it up. Pick it up. Because Mantis is kind of a pain because uh, how the controllers, controller ports work in GameCube. Ugh. No. What was that sound? Let's see if it works properly. Okay. There's some settings in the emulator can fuck it up. What am I doing? I'm gonna need to go back down that way. <laughs> of course. Come check here so I can leave. I'm not sure if you're talking about the um, slight changes that I made or the game itself. Because I really just didn't need to do any of this. The game itself is good enough for making this game into a comedy. Let's be honest now. Why don't we get one extra C4 for this? There seems to be a warning on these doors. It's too late though. It's too late. I 
haven't changed every little texture. You could go through the game and really, really change everything. That's a lot of work. Uh, the big chunk of work that I have done is changing all of the um, codec portraits because each expression, each facial animation, each time they open their mouth, there's a different file, a different frame essentially, and you have to change all of those to match. Oh. I'm sure this is going to be normal. Tech President Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! C4! And they show the Semtex. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We have these textures for MGC. Let's reuse it. C4. Same text. Oh man. Um, that was a normal jump. Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you, Special Operations Foxhound, Revolver, Ocelot. For you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made, the Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Uh, surely they accounted for new features, right? Surely they accounted for first person shooting in this. Exciting fight. That was a boss fight uh, music, by the way. If you can call that music. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up.
stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Insert unnecessary ninja shenanigans. Of course, because we're cool now. Who are you? This is the same logic behind M just four, right? And we're cool now. That we gotta do this. I like you. I have no name. <laughs> that that exoskeleton. More like, why the hell? I wonder if they ever fix the FMV place back. Uh, we'll find out. FMVs like two FPS. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> oh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. 
I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh... Sorry. I forgot. That's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Oh. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Will we get a TFPS here? Have you ever maybe? seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that. Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. Maybe they did fix the FE, in other words, uh, FMV playback. Of available nuclear we'll material see. and scientists for making a bomb. 
We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. Just call it the Military Industrial Complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my... my company and I are... are finished! What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Huh? Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no! Can't be those Pentagon bastards. So they 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 actually went and did it. Oh. 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 What are you talking about? They they they're just using you for it. Oh. 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 What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison? Well, 
Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake! I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Also, for some reason, Baker's on the opposite side here. But in general, all the changes that you see happen for three reasons. Um, the director was crazy and Kojima let him do it. Or wanted him to do it in his way. Um, it was closer to the Japanese... And that's regarding cutscenes. Or the dialogue was closer to the Japanese version. Which really makes you appreciate Boston even more, but whatever. Um, or the third reason that we're trying to be hip and cool and um, reel in the Nintendo fans, Nintendo kids, with all these cool things that Snake does. These are the three main reasons why uh, you will notice things are different that do not need to be different. Oh, holy shit, George, we see with the $121. 57 cents donation to save Meryl. No way. Holy shit. Man, you're turning out of the... Oh, God. What have you done, man? With such a generous donation. Thank you so much. Um, so that means we gotta do math now. And I don't do math. Okay, it's 124. <laughs> Holy shit. You just saved Meryl for the time being. And Danger Field is up for five months. Thank you. Uh, Jorgo also says thanks for the stream, DRK and Mint. Let's not forget. In case you're wondering why uh, we're playing Twin Snakes, uh, Mint donated one thousand dollars. It's Twin Snakes. Seeing how ridiculous it is, only happens on two occasions. Either it's April first, and we play it as a joke, because that's what it is—an April first joke or somebody donates a thousand dollars for it because because it's such a crazy thing that i don't really want it to happen too often somebody i think it all originated when somebody asked how much would i have to donate to see you play this game and like you know thinking i don't want it to happen i i jokingly said a thousand dollars and then it happened like mm, i think this is the fourth time now Two or three times before this, and now this. So I'm like, shit, I have to keep my word now. So, so here we are. Offman, thank you for the 28 months or so. Oh, God. We're about to call Meryl. Meryl reveal. So now we made a sort of a rule that if somebody donates a thousand dollars, and request the game specifically with that donation. Uh, it happens. Now it happens. It's sad. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's, especially now that we're raising funds to promote our next marathon, I'll sacrifice myself and play this. This is gonna be... Because uh, there's only less than a, a day left, so this is gonna be the last stream before the marathon. So, I don't know if we're gonna reach that goal, but we're pretty close with it pretty well so far. But yeah, all the money that comes in now will go towards promoting the marathon that's coming up. I'm like, okay, I guess we can do this. Uh, oh, scratch with the 20 bucks. Kill the girl. Let's add it. Give me a second. Uh, but first, we gotta call her. Uh oh. Meryl reveal. Whew. 
Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You're trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because their special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing, you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the... I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of the trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. 
Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. <laughs> I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake, I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Why is this emote Meryl and not Miller? Jeez, I wonder. Snake, you've got to think. I wonder. <laughs> Big Boy Fury, thank you for the seven months. And Wind Zero donated twenty dollars, so we got another twenty dollar donation. You kill Meryl. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where oh shit, Templar with a 10. I can see ya. All to the kill. Thank you guys. Don't worry. Okay, shut up. Yeah, put your disguise back on, please. <laughs> Why, we are about to see another amazing... Um... What the hell? What's that? Another amazing example of Who's that? and just do features and then just one environment what that actually interrupted the call oh whoa that took ages be careful snake that airlock is set with infrared sensors what is it you probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, hold on a second. That might be bad, actually. Oh god. The lag. Yep. They went to check upstairs for the guy that I killed here. Oh, never mind. Whatever. I, I don't know where the assault team went though. Where the fuck did they check? They have no idea what the level design is with their AI, but whatever. Anyway, um. Is there somebody there? Uh, don't worry. Your AI, which is not designed for this place, makes you go entirely around the entire fucking area. Meanwhile, my first person shoot. I can shoot you the entire time that you're doing that. Yeah, great design. Anyway, let me talk about this. Obviously, we have the lasers in here, right? Uh, oh shit, we got a pretty interesting disc from Baker. We better not lose it. Oh my god, you mean I have to go through the lasers? Um, but we am just you now, so there's control units. You don't need the control units. Oh, that guy just spawned from the dead end. Okay. Ah, whatever. Obviously, you don't need the control units for the lasers to show up. But, since we can, let's do it. Them just do this plenty of lasers with no control units for them anywhere. So it's not like there have to be control units if you have lasers. But no. Uh, let's see. Claymores. Actually, now I'm thinking about where are the lasers? Oh shit, if you open the door, you automatically go through in here. sucks I'm I might be talking out of my ass actually where are the lasers with no control units in them just to I think they might all have control units but yeah this is just funny rendering here at least that is not part of the game I think now of course there's no dialogue because it's not supposed to be there oh well uh, 
But lasers with no control units and I'm just too though. Uh oh. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Oh Use God. a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. The one voice that did change. They couldn't bring back the original Grey Fox voice actor. So now we got this. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, let me get this claymore. Oh, it's invisible. Hey. Um, I mean, I think my point still stands though. They didn't need to have control units just because you can't. Well, yeah, they were just making the game easier. Uh, actually, we're about to see that in here as well. I didn't pick up the FAMAS, so that doesn't really work too well, but maybe. Uh, the, the tank fight is just amazing. The sound design, the music in the background, and the AI, and the, the um, you know actions that you can perform as a player, the gameplay, all very well thought out, I'm sure. This is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and strangely enough, his backflip or um, jump here isn't too crazy. Backflip better than this. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight. So, this is the boss music, which later they reuse in MGS5 for the low health alert music when you're in danger, you know, it's just a sped up version of it. <laughs> Three seconds loop of techno music, oh god. I know, Young Snow. That's actually why I fucking hate it even more. Everybody and everyone. Yep. You're right. Same thing with soccer. Anyway, um, nice boss music. I sure hope that thanks movement and sound design for the engine aren't completely fucked. It's one of those Tesla tanks, zero emissions. It just slides around without an engine. No noise. Every once in a while, maybe, but not all the time. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, oh, yeah, who needs engines? What the fuck? I didn't. What? Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not even surprised. 
I don't care. It just slides all over the place. It may or may not make noise in the process. Um, thrilling fight, really. Who needs grenades when you can do this? M just four is non-cannon. Because I didn't use grenades. I'm gonna use a handgun to defeat the tank. Problem? Come on, come on out. We might actually run out of ammo. And unfortunately the grenade throwing mechanics in MGS2 engine are completely fucked, so I'll have to see what happens. <laughs> Just like Peace Walker. I guess. Look at this thing moving, and listen to it moving. W what? <laughs> Is he ever gonna come out? Maybe not, because I'm aiming at him. That might be programmed that way, I guess. Okay, I'm getting tired of this. the ration here, right? They actually don't. Okay. See how you like this. Ah! Have to be a little careful because I'm not the best in the world at this game, for obvious reasons. So, man, I don't really care. Got something. It just floats there. Oh shit, it actually goes off in your hand? But it shouldn't... Uh, forget it. <laughs> Teach $5 donation, thank you. Unfortunately, there's no message to go with it. I don't know what, where to put it towards. You see, just in case you do that, we still have to make the conversation I'm just for cannon, so... He still uses grenades in the cutscene. Because now we're cool. Is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He 
he and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Yep. Like I said, the dialogue changes, the cutscene changes, and uh, the real little actions of the characters do are due to uh, uh, they're trying to be more faithful to the uh, Japanese edition, or trying to be cool for Nintendo players, or um, Kojima telling the guy to use his crazy style in cutscenes. You <laughs> absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Yeah, Kojima had the big role of picking the director. The director wanted to be faithful to him, just one. But Kojima was like, no, use your crazy style in this. What's that? It's a Kojima's fault, largely. <laughs> oh god, we gotta get out of the way here. That's okay. They're just gonna see the body. Hey, bye. We need to get this bastard now. Send a replacement guard for the. Unfortunately, area. we missed the um, duck guy. Oh shit! Confirming the wrong button, of course. Ah, we'll get him next time. They decided to remove the cubicle here. Instead, it's an open area. Why? Because we can. Why not? Well, thank God that guy tells me that Kojima likes movies. Otherwise, I wouldn't have figured that out. Uh, this area is completely fucked. And the scale and the proportions are completely off just because. I don't know. Maybe so you can fly the Nikita better. Or... There's plenty of other areas like that actually. Rex's hangar is a pretty good one to talk about. Where to just fuck up the scale completely. Or even to have a heliport. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. And the hallway is definitely wider here. Oh shit, there's no FAMAS here. The ration- Oh, that's interesting. I haven't really 
check this in the twin snakes the way the items spawn if you don't pick them up in a certain area it doesn't work we still get the ration instead oh damn we might not have it for uh, mantis then unless it's in there somewhere and b1 whoa chips <laughs> worth of the 30 gift to subs 30 there's gonna be a 30 res sub resub train <laughs> oh god that's that's fucking crazy man thank you so much that really helps us towards that new emote goal oh and now we're cool so we had to see this happen even though the entire point is a snake doesn't see it happen and the calls are based around that but okay Is this your handiwork? No way. I didn't think so. You've done that. <laughs> he got me, but he must be somewhere up ahead. You were there to see it happen. To go and find out. So since the the calls and the, the environment and the cutscene follow absolutely no fucking logic, they just copy and paste. Um, from just one, in a way, without adapting to the the, the shit that they changed. Snake is there, sees all of this happen. <laughs> you can call Meryl and be like, Meryl, you do this? Yeah, totally. Now when you look at Otacon's face, think of the word hamster. And it will all come to you. Hamster face. Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh god. Uh. Oh, what next? Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. 
stranger. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? Enemies? There's nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Calm down. <laughs> the timing. Um, and this is the boss music. It's curious because um, Twin Snakes actually has a different boss theme for each boss. Uh, well, I'm just one only has the one boss music, right? So people are like, at least this game has, you know, uh, unique themes for each character that's superior. Uh, the problem is that you won't even be able to tell because you can't fucking remember any of them because they're all like three seconds techno loops. So better to have one good theme than whatever, how many there are, six, eight shitty themes. So if you told me that this is different, I guess the tank was... Do, 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 pa. And this one is doom, 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 doom. Uh, so, yeah. Different themes. So much more detail. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Good. Now we can find his warriors. And the mantis, mantis theme obviously borrows from the. His theme, his real theme, so they do that. Doom, 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 doom. Oh my god. Hey, you can punch him to the beat of the music. Um, why did I do that? That was supposed to be a roll. Oh well. hitbox though. That's the one move that we have over I'm just one is the roll. And the other thing that's changed of course is that in order to both make the game easier and more stupid in one go, they completely removed the last phase. You don't have the last phase which you know a lot of people have died to and get pulled by. That's good, Snake. Snake, hurry up and catch me. Doom, 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 doom. Does he already have his magazine pouches? Or later, you know, they don't show up until he has his arm cannon thing, usually, but... I guess he does! Hurt me more. The 
kick has less range. Oh god, he actually fell for it. Although it's on his right side. Kinda weird. What? What the hell just happened? Wait, if you do this, then... No, okay. The worst of fences is Lion when he's fighting Rex. Now the line about Corner Fox is more dangerous than a jackal. Yes. <laughs> Just wait for that one. Holy shit. But I actually broke here. Oh, it is. Okay. So now, for the sake of having more cool fighting scenes. Uh, they completely remove the last phase of the fight where he jumps around and discharges electricity you have to shoot him nope instead we get fire jet noises unfortunately i don't have the the plane going across the screen this time Realizes in the remake. is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed. What? They fucking cut what? out of part. It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their... It happened before experience. I woke up. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. 
They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, she's falling what asleep. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? <laughs> From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. The part where Naomi goes away to take a nap? Yeah, makes sense now. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. Wait, so you're saying I made the game too good? <laughs> railgun, you said? <laughs> yeah. It we can actually make the voice acting bearable. Extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes. 
But you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? I'm very close. Yes. Oh, oh no! Damn! They spotted me! Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You're all friendly all of a sudden. 
No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. Very subtle. Yep. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. It's it's what it is. Remember that this is after they had perfectly good MG2 models, but no. <laughs> That's what Otacon looks like. And hey, kids, did you see the very extremely subtle Easter egg here? Yeah. Uh, the camera work, just panning onto it, zooming onto it. And then later when Sneak nods at the camera, holy shit. Anyway, um... Fuck this thing up. And especially this thing. Oh, damn it. Can't do that. What was... Who was Otacon playing? Oh my god. Like an endless loop. If you look there, there's another one. Could this be... a VR simulation? We're all just in Otacon's office. <laughs> Anyway. Ah, fuck, I don't have any claymores. I forgot to pick up the claymores. Templar, thank you for the 10 gift of subs. I gotta scroll all the way down to thank the other people. Uh, Jake Basile with the 25 months. New type 8 for 4 months. Uh, Jake Basile also gifted a sub to Unto Lich. Thank you. Stevo, yourself for 42 months. Lay Android for 14 months. Snake in a cave for 60 months. Uh, Mitch XOF 51 months and then sub train still going from Templar. Thank you It's actually quite curious the way this texture works because of the cutscene it gets overwritten I think Because there's supposed to be something different in there and yeah, they change from police knots to zone the enders but if we enter again, oh, let me see this, because I definitely changed that. This is pretty weird, actually. I'm not sure why. Maybe later. There's definitely like a screenshot, but I think that's later. Maybe I'm not sure why the texture would change back and forth. 
But maybe once you come back for the body armor. Yeah, in the regular game, the GameCube screen just shows the um, main menu with the, the cube thing selection. I thought it would be more interesting. Do you actually have a screenshot of what's going on at the same time? Uh, let's see. Meryl's ass doesn't even squeak in this. I don't think it does. Oh, she actually checks on the people who are asleep. But she doesn't wake them up, right? Why would she wake them up? Okay. So, the greatest thing is that now, this is Meryl, but this is M just 2 engine. So what happens in M just 2 Oh shit. No, get back here. Shit. Okay. We'll keep you here for a second. Okay. That never happened. That guy just had to come back from pissing now. Okay. Whoa, she wakes up fast. Like all MGS2 soldiers, Meryl has a dick hitbox. <laughs> He's holding on to her dick. Because they thought of that. I am seriously looking for the coolant to wake her up. Uh. Uh, there's a dog tag. Yep. I knew it. I always knew it. Seriously though, the... The FAMAS is not here. Maybe in the next year. She wakes up pretty fast. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to do Mantis without it. Oh well. And yeah, that means the cutscene starts as soon as the door opens so you don't get the call with Mei Ling. Yep. Hmm. Oh, really, Vixens? That's Don't actually kind of nice. I've never seen it happen. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Hmm. Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxham way back. When guys like you and my uncle were in it. 
None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. That I'm generic music. That kind of woman. Ugh. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. 
This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that Fama's functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber action express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Holy shit, slow down. Look at the pace of the dialogue. That's strange. Wait There's a no second. Dog. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? That's what I've been wondering the entire game. What happened to the music? Nay, hey, thank you for the 49 months. So you're telling me you can go back in there now? Oh, this opens. It doesn't open regularly. And they put it from us exactly where Meryl leaves hers. Interesting. And they do say it's out of ammo. Oh, so that's an... Little thing you can do to pick it up. I guess there's, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to use it otherwise. So, sure, okay. I wonder if you miss it even in B2 floor. I gotta wonder if that happens the original now. Probably not, because it's just part of the background. Anyway, get some ammo, even though, actually, well, there's no ammo in here. And there's PSG-1 ammo. Oh, that's right, that's where they completely ruined the, um, the pace, or where, where to find the, the PSG-1. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, usually, the reason you wouldn't have the PSG-1 in time to save Meryl is because it's in the armory, and you can't go back there with a level 5 card. But here... They actually make the PSG-1 T spawn in here. In a room that you already have access to. So there's no logical reason as to why you can't have it other than that it doesn't spawn. For pure gameplay reasons. That's stupid. Bad excuse. Uh, let's just move on. But it doesn't matter too much because thanks to this game's design, we're pretty much going to have infinite ammo. Or the Mantis fight. Now if I want to walk around while aiming the gun. Without shooting it. Possibly. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> Holy shit, it hurts. What are you thinking? It's three face but no, no, Fuck. Oh god, oh god. Since the GameCube controller doesn't have enough buttons for this. You have to hold down the square to aim, but also triangle to avoid shooting. And then X to move. So my thumb is currently on three face buttons. Because the GameCube controller doesn't have pressure sensitivity and it doesn't have enough shoulder buttons for this. Uh, it's very specific and you don't really need an M just one, I guess. But in MGS2, it's useful a couple times to do this. Holy shit, my thumb is getting tired. <laughs> uh, what a disaster of control. Uh, anyway, um, I guess we can just move on. 
I never fixed the, the power key icon and we gotta make it stupid. Um, better not lose this. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. I gotta change this. We're re renovating soon. We're gonna change our um, logo and stuff soon. So this has gotta go. It's also here. But more importantly, oh god, this is truly a torture. Mantis is gonna use this to mess with my mind. Let me tell you, the psychological warfare here. <laughs> She's looking down, nice. Dark Souls music. Who's that? <laughs> That's literally Dark Souls music. Or Demon Souls even. Yeah.
Oh, well. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Good thing we don't have a tranquilizer weapon, right? Uh, don't use your weapon. Huh? I hope that's not your only And worst trick. part is when Snake you, nods at the camera. You doubt my power. Uh. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No saved games. Your memory is completely clean. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. Just the timing and the page of that dialogue is all over the place. Okay. I will show oh god. You my power. Time to cringe. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Idiots. Snake is the player. Snake doesn't talk to the player. But no. Burn that shit in the background. So it's, he's actually kind of annoying because the GameCube had four controller ports, right? And it keeps switching between the four each time something happens, maybe blackout or something, or he has a certain amount of health or maybe, I don't know. Um, 
But on GameCube, you have to actually keep switching between the four ports. One, two, three, four. Then again, one, two, three, four, until he's dead, which is really fucking annoying. So instead, especially since I don't want to deal with multiple settings, um, and this game's design is flawed, we are going to sit in a corner and get infinite ammo. Where is he aiming? And just shoot him forever. Eventually, we'll get him. In them just one, you also are never left with no ammo. But the difference is that since that game actually has level design, the ammo spawns in different parts depending on where you are. If I'm in the top left corner like I am right now, the ammo spawns at the bottom right. So I have to move across the, the room and be exposed to danger if I want to get my ammo. In this game, it just spawns here regardless. So... Yep. But is level design? Uh, well. Can I destroy these? I don't think I can. Not until they tell me about it. Oh my god! Flying phantom pain. <laughs> Oh no, don't reload. God damn it. Fuck you. I destroyed the Phantom Pain. Let's shoot Kojima now. Oh, Kojima's already gone. see if it's as easy as just copying the controller settings. Uh, let me see what happens. As it might be worth it if it works. Maybe? Maybe you might be able to hit him now. Oh, shit. I think we got him. Yep. Oh, no, that's not too bad. It's like I have four controllers plugged in right now. And they're all giving input at the same time. We don't even need to move for Meryl because we have the M9. <laughs> it's kind of insane, actually. Uh, oops. What the fuck? I can't aim to save my life. That shit he does where he moves the entire room around is just annoying. There's no other description. this. Something similar is gonna happen with the hind. Actually even worse than this. The fucking design is... Ah, uh, that's what it is. Oh, twice. Just go away. Is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. 
Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. She's asleep. The other? I wasn't able to read the future. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. <sighs> the overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. <gasps> oh, gross. Uh, and each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and that atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to... The village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you our soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. 
You have a large place in her heart. A large place? And getting bigger? But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? M more complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No. But I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Manta said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Maybe I should start messing around with that. Usually only doing cutscene and um sorry in codex. But if we just speed up the entire game, it will be fifty percent faster. It will be both shorter and better. Okay, who knows, me? Uh, we got a new sub from CRT Future, as Mantis will talk about the future. See, it thinks I don't have a controller in socket one, but I'm moving, because there's four controllers inputting at the same time. Man, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you for the sub, man. Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. Oh, that's right. The dogs, so much. they look like... I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Okay, so they look like a bee stung them. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. They look like they were stung by a bee. If you ever seen a dog's muzzle, like, after they get stung, um, that's, that's what they look like. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Literally, the, the uh, PS1 graphics are better. I hate snow. Thank you for the 100 bits. Down syndrome. Dogs? I don't know. But to me, that's what they look like. <laughs> okay, nap time. Holy shit. At least we can put him to sleep. Also, this area is in the dark. At, at, like, at all. Yeah, we can do the pee box. I guess it helps. Can I do it from here? I wonder. Because now we can shoot him first per I don't have a single box. Uh, never mind. I never picked up a box. Yeah, of course. What are you thinking? That actually takes a long time. Especially the snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Especially this little guy here. He's high as fuck, look at him. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Next area is best area. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... <gasps> Leave it to me. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Uh, shit, my mic was muted the whole way. Yeah, I was talking about how there's actually enough claimers that you sort of need to go that way. But you, but it doesn't matter because you want to trigger the claimer. Because that happens. Because... Fin snakes. Because the cool Nintendo kids will like this. Well, thank you for the 51 months, Risa. Meryl. Oh, uh, now she stands around and plays with it for like 10 minutes. Let me think about it for a little bit. Oh, that's right, I got hit. Ah, 
here where she tries to aim her gun forward. I don't think they understood that Meryl wanted to kill herself here. And she says, My gun, I can't reach it. Snake, shoot me. I think she wanted to kill herself with her own gun, but... Here she tries to aim it forward, but whatever. Snake, leave me and run. Meryl. I guess I'm a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. <laughs> Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. No. My gun. I can't reach it but myself. Don't move. I promised I wouldn't slow you down. I I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Don't forget what I said. Now, get out of here. Meryl! Colonel? Damn! Snake! It's a trap! A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it! It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's a classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay, thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Don't you know? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Oh my god, time for the boss fight music. Okay, let me get this straight. Um, I don't remember Ocelots at all. But the tank was... The ninja was... Uh, uh, what was the ninja? Um... I don't remember something like do 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 Okay, and this one is Yeah, see there's a variety of great music in this game. Here's Simon, thank you for the 7 months resub. Uh, GR12, shy guy with 18 months also, thank you. Don't worry, we can shoot him. 
First person while crawling now. Such a detailed game. Each boss has its own music. Wow. So good. She's just ran there with the 14 months, Risa. Thank you. Uh, okay. Where, where am I going? I was afraid of the phantom pain. Pictures will be back for a second. I actually really don't remember. Oh yeah, the ninja was two, 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 two. <laughs> Uh, I keep forgetting. Now I forgot wolves. Wait, wait, where am I going? We're twin snakes. We don't backtrack. We're the cool guys now. We backflip all over the place and we get the PSG one early. They removed all backtracking essentially from everything in this game because that's not cool. We're not patient. We want to go forward. Nah, whatever. I don't really need the box. So in the same room we could go to before, it just didn't spawn. Now there's a PSG 1T. At least in them just want to make sense that the PSG 1 is always there, but you just can't go there. And here you could go there, but it just doesn't spawn because whatever. Gameplay reasons. Oops. Okay, that kinda sucks. I accidentally the whole thing. Hey, bye. And I guess we can eat a potato, pea, rotten ration. I don't know. Green bean. Wow. It doesn't do it here, but during the second wolf fight, you can clearly see the bullets hit behind her. Because she's so fucking close. But that's that's later, actually. Yeah, the second wolf fight is fucked. We'll see. Uh, this is the twin snake, so I can just stand here and shoot her. I guess we need ammo every once in a while. Do drugs and everything will be fine. Uh. 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 My God, her movements. <laughs> oh, come on. Pew, 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 pew. And I know we need more drugs in here. Ah! I got her. A random gameplay snake line there. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is save though. Hey, shut up. Wait, no. Of course, the buttons are all wrong, so. Uh, no, fuck. I actually want to save, though. No? Okay, okay. Not only the buttons are wrong, the selection is wrong. Okay, there you go. Because we never know what might happen during the torture. Apparently, since in this game, Ocelot actually notices if you have, uh, whatever they call auto fire turbo on Nintendo. Um... Uh, he can actually notice and he can actually kill you and there would be no continues, so that's bad. Not that I'm gonna use auto fire, but the thing is, the way it detects auto fire essentially is if you're too good at this. If you're if you do it too fast, he will think you're cheating. 
so I don't know if I can trigger it I'm maybe we'll try to I don't know and let's see what happens maybe uh, but yeah it's a good thing to save because of that I mean thank you for the five bucks kill Meryl autogonist date with that moderately steep incline yeah uh, let's put that towards killing Meryl thank you and that's also around the time we're going to stop counting towards the donation war, of course. Not the donation goal, but the donation war. Wow, nice camera. But yeah, that won't be for a while. Let's see what happens. Uh, let me see. I've never seen it. I've only ever seen like a YouTube video of it. So, yeah, this is sort of threshold where... If you're too fast, Oslo will think you're cheating. How would you even... Let me see... Uh, I think it's a square button, which is the A button, which is the a the X button. What a fucking mess. How would I go about... I don't know. Can you even do turbo in this thing? Oh, there's... What the hell is a Donkey Kong Bongos? So when I select the controller, I think that's DK. Look at this. So we have standard controller, GameCube adapter for Wii U, steering wheel. Dance mat. DK bongos. What? What? What is this? I don't know. I don't think we can. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, I gotta Google this. No way. That's a thing. That's a thing. I should play the game. You can use a Game Boy Advance as a controller. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I think the FBI is onto me. Why would it require internet access? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Fuck it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, how do I go about making it turbo? I have no fucking idea. Um, what is range here, anyway? That was actually kind of surprising that as, when I select. GBA as a controller, it detects like firewall activity. What the fuck? I don't know how that works, but I, I'm glad it didn't show like weird things on screen. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's not the greatest thing. How the shit do I make it turbo? believe it's what 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 a world we live in anyway um I'll just try to do whatever see if I can trigger it manually that'd be pretty fun if I can trigger it manually or I guess I could buy into just keyboard and make a keyboard macro yeah but I'm not too desperate about it. I'm not desperate enough. Don't move. Uh oh. 
It's a cutscene. Something stupid is gonna happen. your weapon over here slowly you're a fool to come back here stupid man a lady sniper huh don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Take him away! Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that DARPA chief. Yes, he's my target. Mine alone. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. Man, I gotta change the that Konami logo. The man stole the light from my life because of you. Me? Why? I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his genetic information too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We needed to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Oh, 
Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. And that Ocelot line almost sounded right. He was almost it's trying there. To feed the family. Now he does a bunch of stupid shit though. But that's okay. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. <laughs> Down. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. 
Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you wanted to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay, let's get started. Alright. I know I even, I mean, you don't really need to bother with making me as fast as possible, and that's the thing. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Templar 18, thank you for gifting us that level. Let's see if we can figure this. I don't know. I would have to go really fast. Had enough yet. Oh, not finished yet. Unfortunately, due to the controls being s fucked, I'm using square instead of circle. So, I'm not really used to spamming square like circle, but whatever. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Okay, so we got the... Uh... Sub gifted from Templar 18 to European Extreme and then AGN24 gifting a sub also to Julian Edward Levin. Thank you. Uh, Scale of Motion with a 52 months resub. Davis B with a 5 bucks to kill Meryl. Thank you. Thank you guys. Already added all that. Interesting. This cutscene uses different models, so he's not pink. And Green Lizard with a $15 to make her really dead. Thank you. Looks like I got a roommate.
Darpa chief. Whew, what a stench. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. House Merrill. They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake, just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines and the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn! Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, what? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Alright, Motor JP, thank you for the four months. Mysterious Fish, thank you for the 12 months. So we'll stop. We'll stop counting the donations right when we get to catch up. And as always, get the um, next session torture done. Because we can't escape now. Hey! Hey! Holy shit. But yeah, that call, the next call with absolutely no atmosphere in the background. Not only they don't have uh, the music here in the background in the cell, they don't even have uh, the best is yet to come uh, playing during the, the, the serious dialogue, which is crazy because they have the song. They had the rights to the song. You might think, oh, maybe they don't have the rights, so they had to use the generic ass music. No, they had the music rights because it's still the ending credits, but they didn't use it in all those emotional scenes where it's used. It's, it's completely fucked. This is one of the parts where it's most obvious, I think. It's the atmosphere is completely fucked. This is like, this is playing like a, I don't know, a kind of fit version of MGS1. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing a kind of fit version of MGS1. I think that's the, the best way to describe this. Jesus. And the music has a big component of it, the atmosphere, so this is really, really fucked. Snake, 
It's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Oh, God. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. Really, you mean surrender buttons? When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Uh, let's see. The only reason to do it as fast as possible is to see if he thinks I'm cheating. Shall we go again? And uh, probably not that fast. Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. I don't really want to die right now anyway, so that's okay. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism. Totalitarianism. Konami. Historica. 20th century Russia has Pachinko. had its problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. Okay, well. One of the best, most emotional calls ever. Yeah. With generic music. Nothing new to report. And no music. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. So in order to make Snake. that better... I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Mm. How's that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <sighs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? 
Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <sighs> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. But that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah, I think so too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? Please wake up. You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I'm... I'm sorry. I have no idea. I'm asleep right now. I'm sorry. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. <laughs> it gets really bad when she talks about Shut her past. There, Holy shit. When she starts talking about her past towards the end. Damn. Oh, oh, my stomach. Damn it. Mm -mm. Why ever so? Thank you for the 35 months and since say with the 32 months. Um, so in this version, when Otacon gets here, the scene starts automatically. You don't have to walk next to the door. So I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, in order to make it fair and clear to everybody, that the nation war will end as soon as we get the catch up from Otacon and we get the gameplay from uh, back to gameplay from that scene. Caution. Shitty game. His leg is still fucked. Wow. So much attention hey, to detail. I'm here. Where? It's me. Otacon. Wow. They even captured you. Hurry. Get me out of here. Let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. What the fuck, man? Jeez. <laughs> uh, it's like an animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. It's the DARPA chief! If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards! This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? 
It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Merrill. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, geez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Just as it should be, Marrow is dead. Congratulations. Good job, guys. That's better. Yeah, we don't need to use the ketchup here. The handkerchief that he got from Sniper Wolf has a weird stain on it. I wonder what it is. What the hell? <laughs> what are you playing around with that ketchup for? Yep, now we're gonna Shut give up. up in there, will we're gonna do the last session of torture specifically to give up. And this is the preferred outcome for Twin Snakes because uh, there's always something stupid, of course. Oh god. HD maggots. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Shut up, Oslo. Give me my okay. suit back. Let's get started. Give me my pink suit. Nope. Here. Anything but my pink suit. Had enough? So you're human after all. The torture will stop as I promised. But I'll take the woman in return. I'll have my fun with her before I kill her. Girl. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my friend. Shut up in there, will ya? Well, now we gotta wait for Grey Fox. Oh, not again!
everything is just devoid of emotion and atmosphere and bah, whatever. Even Johnny's shit noises. Autogon. So you're here to get me out? Huh? <laughs> Ninja <laughs> back flips away. I don't know. There's something funny about that. Back flips away. Oh yeah, we're back. <laughs> uh, wait, why am I doing this? Oh, I guess we can't put it back down. We could just shoot the camera, because advanced gameplay features now. His hand was clipping into his ass, yes. Which I'm not really surprised about. Uh, let's see. Wait, did somebody say? Y you can't what? In the Twin Snakes. And somebody was also- Oh, you can't kill Johnny in the Twin Snakes? What are you guys talking about? Don't make me redo the whole thing and try it. Why wouldn't you be able to kill Johnny? I'm pretty sure I killed him before. It has nothing to do with. Re remember, none of the other nonsense was out at this point. And Johnny and I'm just do was still just a hidden Easter egg. Wait, you got a time paradox if you killed Johnny? What? There is no such thing as a time paradox until I'm just three. Oh my god, are you guys gonna make me like reload the whole thing? Oh, you mean when you grab him, he uh, he just gets stunned. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember that happening. He can snap his neck, but... But it's not like they have a time paradox mechanic. Yeah, you just knock him out. Can I talk about what went wrong? Simple, everything. Just think of every component that the game is comprised of. Graphics, gameplay, music, voice acting, writing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a single one that's, that's okay. Oh, that's right. There's guards here now. Oh, well. Always have to punch the air because the controls are so great. Oh, these are not gun cameras. Oh, well. Nice aim. Oh, man. Everybody just respawned. Where's this guy going? Um, yeah, those should have been gun cameras. Like these. They don't keep the alert up though, so that's okay. The hell was that? I don't even know. We'll see later that these cameras, the gun cameras, are also kind of glitchy. That was the alert music. Yep. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to get hyped. Ugh. Let's see if we can get the 
duck guy. Yeah, we should be able to get him now. voice acting. Maybe that's why he's wearing a mask. Okay, let's go see if the poster changed. Holy shit, he's FPS drops. change but uh, that's kind of weird nope maybe I'm thinking of the other version I definitely changed that poster it's been lost I guess we gotta make it again there's a couple other changes that I I need to either restore or come up with before April I guess and I'm not particularly looking forward to it. It's kind of annoying, really. Each year, I'm not looking forward to April because you gotta do taxes and you gotta play Twin Snakes. It's not. It's not fun. Not a very fun time of the year. I don't even know why. I guess I wanted to check on the, um, the office, but we don't really need the body arm. I'm actually deeply not in the mood to play this game. I'm basically being forced to play this game by the same kind of logic and force Kojima to make him just for. It's our duty to finish it. <laughs> and everybody expects me to. And the pressure. I, I, I really don't want to play this game right now. <laughs> the body arm. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. I usually never pick it up, I guess. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Do I plan to quit Konami too? Last I checked, Kojima didn't quit Konami. Konami quit Kojima. Ah, oh, but seriously, that's such... We make fun of it, but I think it does have a mental... ...distress, mental toll on me every time I play this game. In the cutscenes, the bloodstains look different, and they actually look like a ball sack. Look at that. And a dick to go with it, like, why? <laughs> Unless you're talking about rising, you're wrong. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Uh, Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me.
snake. About Merrill. Colonel. I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, it's okay. You did what you could. Now let it rest. Colonel. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. Be quiet. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. And besides that, for all we know, Meryl's okay, right? Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to NAM the Mafia. When was that? Um, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi, I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. I guess there's a lot of people out there who think that Kojima had nothing to do with this. No, Kojima is mainly responsible for this and encouraged and blessed this style of nonsense and cutscenes that we get in this game. So, yeah. But uh, that guy in the chat described earlier, badly executed cash grab uh, without Kojima's involvement. That's rising. That's what you described is rising. Um... Twin Snakes had Kojima's blessing to have this scene, uh, this style of cutscenes, among other things. And some more internal workings with, with uh, Nintendo, of course. Anyway, um, this is actually where we change the disc. So hopefully the thing doesn't implode. Uh, you never know. Oh shit, we have, we have a cold. That's right, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna save in case something happens, but we should be fine. Uh, this tells you a lot, actually. On PS1, it says, insert disc 2, and here you get <laughs> a long, very detailed description of how to insert disc too. They knew their audience, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Press and open the button. <laughs> Press the open button to open a disc cover and replace the MGS The Twin Snakes game disc 1 with the MGS The Twin Snakes game disc 2. After we had exchanged the game disc was this cover. Holy shit, come on. Anyway, um... Change disc. Does that work? There you go. Except now we're not full screen anymore. Okay. For some strange reason. Okay, we should be fine now. Stun grenades are thick. Let me tell you. Does that even work? Oh, that's right. <laughs> There's lasers. Oh, man. Amazing allure music. I, 
I don't even... Oh shit, this is where it would be useful. Oh god. Three buttons to do this. And these guys act as if they have body armor when they obviously don't. Nice. Oh. I guess I'm better off on equipping it. gotta try this game on extreme. I have a feeling it won't be much harder. Um let's see. Music, that lightning and sound direction and atmosphere. Yep. Just like I'm just one, but better. Let me tell you. Wow. Are they seriously? They don't reload. What is this, Engine 5? What? Yeah, I guess the guys here look, work differently. suppressing fire is a thing but the ammo oh shit it's time for the hind and everything related to the hind Ugh. Yeah, I, I've got one question mark about this. That's all I can say. Magnetic grenades, I guess. But that's that's not all. That's not even the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> the hind fight is where it's at. What? Oh shit, I picked up the rope, didn't I? I shouldn't have picked it up. I guess I could just I'm not equip it. I can't let you get past here. Liquid. You're not going any farther. Die. It's a long way down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hide with your bare hands? No! 
See, if you missed the rope, you would have to backtrack all the way down to get it. So, since only cool kids who don't backtrack play this game, instead of using the rope, what we can do is... Wait a second. Uh, I wonder if the armor would stay on. Probably not. You do this. Oh, no way! The armor stays on! I had no idea. But you can't use items during this. You also don't get a health refill. Um, oops. I tried to grab onto something, but yeah. Snake! Answer me! <laughs> Snake! Snake! So that's the game over screen, by the way. They ruined that too. Um. Oh, I got some pity health back, it seems. Okay, okay, so you just do drop and catch. And that's how it works. If you forget. I also don't seem to have any X or Y kidneys, beans. I don't know. I, I don't have any of those in my controller. Quick, use the X kidney. Oh, and disappeared at the end. Nice. Yeah, it's just like the VR mission in him just here. fucks off. Or at least he should. Okay. Yeah, the animations are just... I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. But they're like plastic toys smoother than butter. I, I don't know. Especially Rex. Rex is literally based on a toy. At least they put the um, destroyed staircase all the way up here. Because again, who wants to backtrack? Um, but yeah, Rex in this game is not based on the original design. It's based on a fucking action figure of Rex. Not the original design. I will see that. Don't shoot. It's me, don't shoot. It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. 
It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean... I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom... even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. Wow, well, the pacing is gone. Okay. I think so too. Especially with Sniper Wolf's death. I have a favor to ask. Uh oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the heavy ass steel crates for us. I think I'm going to mess with these cameras because yep. mm. Yeah man, fuck the railing I'm rich, I can sell this brass. Infinite ammo, infinite money. It's still going. It's seriously still going. Who are we shooting now? Yeah, yeah, fuck the wall. Yeah. What? What? Calm down, holy shit. <laughs> it was still going. And on the way down, we can use the invincibility frames we get from rolling down stairs. Also. I wonder if it works on the way up, probably not. Oh wait, there's some more. Oh wait, no, there is more. Um, now there's four of them, and they're all shooting at each other. Oh god, FPS swap! Holy shit! Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. I don't really want to wait. We have enough health. There's no way the swag master can do that. Please. Oh, didn't they change the location of the ladder to you randomly? I think they did. It's it's here, yep. Somebody linked something. Yeah, that would make sense because they had um, M just two acids. And then they made the action figure based on that. Uh, I don't know though. But it's a little rougher in this game for sure. I feel like the legs might be fatter too, but. Maybe it's just the way it moves. Mainly it's the way it moves. Dimir, thank you for the 8 months resub. Now let me see what else I missed here. Uh, Varix in 19 months. Not your khakis, they're also 19 months. Omaru, give it the subs. You swan one. Thank you. Finally come out of his home. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you oh, calling God. me brother? Who the hell are it's you? almost time. Yep. I'm you. I'm your shadow. What? Ask the father that you killed. I'll send you to hell to meet. I just realized it's facing the wrong way. Anyway, um, certainly this is a well-designed fight, right? Definitely not the kind where you can just do this. I might think, oh, it's a difficulty, you just... You can't do this all the time. Um, yeah. Please, I invite you to try and do this on easy difficulty and then just one and see what happens. You can literally just stand in one spot and keep shooting him. Because his damage sucks, and because they don't knock you out of first person when you get hit. <laughs> Not only that, his AI is so great that he loses me, even though I never move. But yeah, try doing this, even an easy, and then just one, see what happens. Oh man, nice. Boss fight music, by the way. Something very similar is also possible with Raven. How, how would you even like describe this music? Like, how do you hum this music? I, you don't. You beatbox it. I, I don't know. You know that one theme from the Twin Snakes, where you're fighting the hind, the one that goes like. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Where'd you go? Yeah, where'd I go? Uh, damn, I lost him. Uh, 
<laughs> yep. I don't even know if there's a C spot. Whatever. The real problem begins now. Oh god. Oh god. Please no. Damn. Eat this. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. <laughs> Not only Kojima approved of this, Kojima specifically requested this. So, yeah. I missed a couple of resubs from Catzer for three months and Adam Lobo for seven months. Thanks, guys. Uh, Pan style with the 24 months also. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I barely have, like, I have to manage my ammo usually, but we still have 40. But, but that's not gonna be necessary because the second sniper wolf fight is a fucking joke. Well, I mean, the entire game is, but especially that. I'll show you guys. Dumb thing. Great features. Nope. See the invincibility frames from getting up during that animation. <laughs> oh god. Nope. I gotta wonder, because unfortunately I can't catch every single message in the chat, but maybe you guys noticed. Uh, have there been any people going like, You're disgracing Kojima's legacy in this epic game. You're ruining Kojima's legacy. <laughs> oh man. We get those every once in a while. Now you're on. Thank you for the 31 months.
Oh my god, how dare you ruin ep epic, epic games. <laughs> Snake, there's uh. something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you, so I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Okay. Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Then tell me one thing. Tell me one aspect in which this game is better than M just one. In before graphics, no, the graphics um, are not in any way, shape, or form revolutionary, or uh, you know, well cured, or thought out, or uh, making use of the hardware, or um, the, the art style is not nearly as as taken care of properly. So um, there's no excuse. The graphics being better, uh, the GameCube has better hardware than the PS2. They have PS2 models available, and they made their own that are fucking shit. The game looks worse on a on better hardware. So your argument for graphics is not really of my interest. But tell me one thing that this game did better than I'm just one, please. Better music, mm, better voice acting, better controls. Um, what else is there? Better writing. <laughs> if you praise this game for graphics, I have bad news for you. But that's the first thing that people jump at. That's why this game even exists, like. Like, right? It's Andrew Steel graphics. No, it's worse than Andrew Steel graphics on better hardware than the PS2. Andrew Steel graphics. Have you seen the fucking models? Have you seen like that? There's a certain, I don't know, way that Twin Snakes, Snake, and Honorcon carry themselves that is completely off, and I can't help but just laugh at it. Especially Snake. Um. But yeah, GameCube, better graphics, same engine, worse models, worse graphics. I think worse FPS as well. Uh, resolution, I want to say, maybe. Uh, was this game 60 FPS? Because I'm just doing with 60 FPS on PS2, but I would be surprised if this wasn't 60 FPS. Um, but yeah. No, I'm not a fan of the GameCube or Nintendo's choices in hardware, but you'd be an idiot. You'd be arguing that numbers, you'd be arguing against math if you think the GameCube doesn't have better hardware than the PS2 because it just did. Um, of course, the memory support was a different story, but that's Nintendo's questionable choices. But anyway, um, it just think of the effort, the passion, and the time. And the detail that went into making M just one look the way it does in PS1. And now compared to the effort put in the graphics in this game. You think that's comparable? You think they did better <laughs> in this game? Oh man. Please. And that's just graphics. That's just the most obvious thing. You couldn't shoot cameras like that in M just one. That's a good thing. I've shown the, several times why the M just one environment does not work with M just two features and controls. It's all over the place. In fact, we're about to see it here as well. Oh God. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! 
Wolf. Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in the storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. If I'm close, you will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You <laughs> men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. The graphical effort that they made for a real M just one and for this stinking pile of shit is just unimaginably incomparable. Anyway, Colonel, how do I do this fight? The less you maneuver a remote control what? missile, the faster it will fly. Remember this if you want to fire the missile over a greater distance. Okay, I actually gotta kill myself now after I get the call I want. It's sniper wolf. You can only shoot at her with your sniper rifle. Um. So, here's a couple wrong things. First of all, we can use the Nikita and the Stinger, just like in the real MG1, of course. But, uh, you can clearly see the bullets hit the wall behind her. And you can see the bullets reach the other side. So, as soon as I find her... Okay, there she is. But the bullets, and they definitely would, on her rifle, reach the other side. But we can't hit her with, with them. That's okay. Gameplay mechanic. Okay. That's okay. Um, but then... Uh-oh. What am I doing? Uh oh. So, rifle bullets wouldn't reach it, but. Oh. It's almost as if this gun wasn't programmed because it didn't exist. It's almost as if they forgot about this gun. But anyway, I want to keep that call for later, so it's probably a bad thing that it played now. So yeah, you can hit her with the M9. Because we have the cool... Uh, maybe it's a little bit too far there. Who knows if it's just within range or maybe I'm missing. Oh, there you go. Um, so we're cool now. We am just to controls now, so we can do this. Anyway, uh, let me quickly kill myself here because that call there you might think it's almost related because you can use a Nikita for here but that's not quite the case what I'm really gonna play that call for is just to showcase how glitched it is and where it plays otherwise snake what happened snake Of course there's a sniper tranquilizer. It's even closer, so that's the preferred option. Because we don't backtrack in this. Eh, let me get some more ammo maybe. Or, who, who, who the fuck cares? I have a stinger. With 40, um, bullets, they call them. Yeah. She takes less damage than the hind. Oh, can we stun lock her? No way. No fucking way. You can almost unlock her. 
And I'm just one actually hits her if she's behind cover here. Only if she isn't. I think that's a big explosion, but I'm just two explosions are a little finicky with the hitbox. And the sound effect is wrong too. I don't know, but you're surprised. Wow, what a fight. <laughs> I actually haven't tried this before. Apparently it works. Some degree. Okay. I actually don't have anything else that's lethal I can hit her with. Maybe it's Nikita, I guess. But that takes a long time. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, you don't get pushed out of first person when you get hit, which is why you can do this with Raven, with Hind, with Wolf, uh, with Ocelot. It's a mechanic that they specifically changed, because I'm just do in order to balance things. You can't do this. You get knocked off your feet, you get pushed out of first person. Ah, uh, this is actually kind of annoying. We have to end it with this now. I wonder if it... Do you lose control of the Nikita? Because that'd be interesting if you don't. Oh well. It's time for Wolf to read her lines as fast as possible. Apart from the atmosphere, the lighting, the music, the writing, and the pretty much everything that oh shit there's this scene first <laughs> that's right that's right um yeah the one thing that's really off about her death scene is how fast she has to go through the lines and her accent that she's just fucking everything is busted and it's especially noticeable in this scene because it's one of the best scenes in mgs1 Therefore, it's one of the worst scenes in the Twin Snakes. You don't know who you're dealing with. And I don't have YOLO, no scope, on my suit for nothing, you know? Remember enclosure, the theme it plays here. Yeah, you better um, like generic piano music as she reads her lines as fast as possible with the wrong ass accent, with the wrong sound design, with without the little pieces of the buses yet to come in the background. Um, yeah, um, why not? Holy shit, this is actually one of the worst fucking things. Quick, read the lines of the script. I have waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. 
Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. I swear I did not speed up the game. But then, <laughs> he appeared. This is actually how it is. Holy shit. Slow down. He took me away from all that. Saladin. You mean big boss. I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside as an observer. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But... I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek. And the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She is part of me. Goodbye. Do a backflip. Snake does a backflip and shoots her in midair. 
missed opportunity here. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. I'm fighting for the no scopes. And the backflips. Okay. I'll be searching too. Why is there no ambient sound whatsoever? Good question. This game is a fucking mess. To be honest, right around Wolf's death is when I just kind of want to get it over with. It's kind of unbearable. But there's a few more crazy things going on, of course. Uh. Caution stairway. Man, they couldn't even get the disc change right. Blast Furnace, another area that's completely invalidated by the new features. I have to press against the wall, deal with the crane, deal with the guard. Or, you know, the, the, the elevator? What, I have to do all of that? How about we am just you now? Yep. Don't mind me. I'll just be on my way out. I'm steam in the process. Yep. Now, it's time for the disappearing fourth guy. Since they gotta have the symmetry, I guess, in their cutscene and the exploding ammo, um, the, the there's gonna be four guys in the cutscene, but only three during gameplay. Maybe it's the the guy who explodes. I don't know.
can confirm that's how it works. I was in the special forces. We do that all the time. <laughs> wow, exciting music. One. Fuck. Fucking controls. Two. And three. So I can count, right? We're four guys in the cutscene. But, yeah. Make everything trivial. Why not? Speaking of which, the Raven fight that's coming up. Oh, and the Raven fucking sound effects. Did I say this game has no sound effects? Sound direction? Sorry, I apologize. We have ho ho hum hoo ho, ho he, he. Because Raven is a shaman, as you know. Therefore, we must add shaman noises. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What the fuck were they thinking? Those are their priorities here. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation so secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? <sighs> it was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Oh, 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 oh. See? Somebody thought it was a necessary improvement as we near Raven to add generic shaman noise. Okay. But yeah, um, we wouldn't want the audience to think about such strong topics such as Edgar Hoover was a racist. So they cut that line out, of course. Oh man, exciting Raven fight coming up. I can't wait. This is the end of the road for you, right, my friends? They're becoming excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. 
You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. Look at all these lines I changed for no fucking reason. Um, yeah. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. And that is where the fight would begin. This is normally. Glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. But. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. But this is the Twin Snakes. So. Okay, can we start now? Now that we did all of that, now that we covered the, the cool factor, can we start? I'm sure the fight is going to be just as cool. Especially with this music. Um, so, quick recap of the boss music. Uh, no, I can't remember any of them. Sorry. Try doing this and then just one, see what happens. Oh well.
Just as the boss said. It is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. No such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it, but you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. No matter how far you go, or how many corpses you crawl over, the killing will never end. It's a future without hope. Hear me, Snake! My spirit will be watching you. It's me. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. 
I can believe that so now. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And there is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter. Or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? <sighs> Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Yep, I've been muted for a while, huh? That's annoying. Uh, I was just talking about how there's the call about Snake saying, it's strange, there's no guards here. Nobody patrolling, it's deserted. Yeah, of course there's no zoom. And there's guards right before and right in front of Rex here. Um, so, yeah. Of course, they didn't change the call. Look at Rex and its plastic glory. No, I don't think there's a, as many cameras. Oh, we'll check it out. That's not as many cameras. Uh, you can't really trick them the same way you can in the um, communications that Anyway, uh, they changed all the ladders here, the stairs. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. <laughs> no guards, no mechanics. It's too what? quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Yep. Uh, let me thank some people here. Uh, Giant and Shaven with 32 months. Uh, Kylesis with 12 months. Bixen, gift of five subs earlier. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Sheila Ladder with over 66 months. Thank you. Thank you so much for your prolonged support. Uh, Glorious Bastard with 29 months. Also, thank you. RB Free, 6 months. The Flayer, th uh, 31 months. 
And Dookie Zappa got a gift sub from Captain Iron Spider. Thank you. Edelborge with a 33 months. I think that's everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Otacon, it's strange. There's nobody here. Nobody patrolling. No, don't interrupt me. I'm trying to kill a guy. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I've never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay. Keep trying. Hmm? Oh my god. There's absolutely nobody here. Oh shit, the pacing. <laughs> Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? Haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Mm, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean, it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Because of that? But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START III Treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it'd cause a whole world of trouble. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. Only simulated. You mean with VR experiments? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We are counting on you. Yeah, don't skip the muff folder. Huh? Oh my god, there's nobody here. Okay, at least that guy's supposed to be there. But well, what's more important here, look at this shit. The proportions are completely off. Uh, Rex barely fucking fits. You can tell here. The railgun almost clips into the wall. Look how fucking close it is. There's a huge gap in the original. And when they designed they designed the area and Rex, they must have been like, Oh shit, yours barely fits. Oh fuck, the cutscene starts when you get that close to the stairs? Okay. Um Well, I only see one solution to this. Okay. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? Liquid. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. 
But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. <laughs> yes. When the other countries hear about the new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. One billion dollars? All for money? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox dye vaccine in our demands. Fox dye? It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with amphetamine and adrenaline levels in the blood. They deployed a product still in development into live combat. No surprise it was unreliable. They must have been desperate. In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at Spetsnaz yet? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he is a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. <laughs> their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? <laughs> that Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's, he's a politician. Maybe so, but he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we joined forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. It's going to be a long war. We could still escape. We have the new nuclear power, and we're going to ally with Gilukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world? From here, we can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar and totally immune to interception. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. But boss, what about your promise to Colonel Gulukovich? no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, you can call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden? If the code is entered again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. 
Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They finished inputting the PAL codes. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see, the override system that the president was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? You need the keys for input. Three of them. But I only have the one. Where are the others? Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. You input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys after you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system, and it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. that Proof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. Snake, you've got to get that key. I will enjoy watching nothing happen. Because they don't even have the force alert here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? How did the fucking railgun not show up in a cutscene? Because it's so fucking close. Because the proportions are all over the place. But yeah, that's interesting. I will enjoy watching you go get the card. Um, damn. I got a donation from Legates for $11.16. It says, love all your content, YOLO. Thank you. Speaking of YOLO, let's do this. Since we can. Since we're the cool kids now. Oh yeah. I see him back here. Oh well, we'll have to. It doesn't seem to give a shit though. Damn it. Yeah, potato aim. We should have taken some drugs there. We also got a. Uh, 51 months reset from Snorix and 31 months from the Flail. Thanks, guys. 
Uh, there he is again. He's hiding behind the ammo. Unfortunately, with the amount of stupid shit in this game, people think that I modded it. Even more things. Wait, where did it go? Don't tell me you can't see it in the water. Oh, nice. But no, there's actually very little modification. The codec, and sometimes playing music on top of things because they're stupid to begin with. But yeah, maybe maybe we should just do a vanilla run so people can see how stupid the game is. If people think I modded all these things in. No. No, the game is just... That's just the way it is. Maybe, but the thing is, you're not really supposed to see the items in there anyway. In the water. So maybe the Palky... I think the Palky in the original floats like on the water. You can see it. Anyway, um, yeah, for example, see this, hear this music here? Isn't this so much better in Rex's Lair, like somebody was saying? Absolutely. It's so memorable that I just can't get it out of my head. I hum it all the time. Uh, y yeah, this noise in the background. Ah, uh, anyway... I didn't pick up any claymores in this playthrough. I don't get to see the icon. It's changing the three laptop screens to the three streamers information is kind of smart, I guess. I haven't really messed around with this area too much. to do the Palky icon as well. Cups. Okay. Tier 3, thank you. That takes care of pal code number 1. Now, pal number 2. Freeze the key. Tier 3, 55 monster resub. Thank you so much. Um... Yeah, that was one of the first things I did. Let's not, let's not spoil it though. What changed with Liquid. Oh, this guy just doesn't spawn. He's dead for good. Okay, so now we don't want to to backtrack, obviously, because we're the cool kids who backflip all over the place. So backtracking is boring. Never mind the fact that between the fact that you, you can change the shape of the card right here and the fact that there's no more ladders and loading screens in between, the pace of what happens in the background is completely fucked. Uh, never mind that. This game is obviously superior, because you don't need to go back. So Naomi is going to um, make everybody suspicious, get arrested, uh, escape, and talk to Snake, and get caught again, all within like 40 seconds. <laughs> it should be happening as you take your time to go back to, to the blast furnace, but now we're cool now. So, we have these. We have hot steam and cool liquid nitrogen. So simply by shooting these, we can change the shape of the card instantly. Yep. Never mind everything in between that's gonna happen. 
that's gonna get especially stupid when we uh, heat up the card. No, it's not cool. Maybe if you're speed running. Not even. Who cares? If it wasn't cool, how did the card freeze? Good point. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Now is where it gets ridiculous because everything happens at once. I've got the attention span of a peanut, therefore I cannot backtrack. It's boring. That's what I do. And we got grip level 2 in the process. Whenever I need to go to the bathroom, I just build a new bathroom. I move forward like my hallway is never ending. Because I don't want to backtrack. I'm too cool for that. I just keep building new rooms in my house. Move forward. Well, let me just have this important conversation in mid-air. Yeah, no problem. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry. But I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but what are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. So as soon as I drop down here, because, you know, that entire conversation was mid-air. Um, yeah, Naomi was just placed under arrest, and the Colonel is interrogating her. Never mind, she got away. I was quick. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi. This is where she is really fucking asleep. Right now. <laughs> no, they're not. I just talked to him. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. The name and ID I have now I just bought. But the reason why I study genetics, that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. 
I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I'm not even awake. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. Time for generic what? music in the he background. Was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you. And I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <laughs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Naomi, tell me something. About fox dye? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. Holy shit, First, wake up. It affects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes. <laughs> Seriously? Protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific <laughs> genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA. Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme epitosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis. You mean the heart cells commit suicide, Naomi? What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with fox dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? 
The real thing that I wanted to tell you was Snake. Hey! What are you doing? <sighs> Snake. <laughs> Naomi? Snake. I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Ugh, that's one of the most, you know, telling lines there. Colonel, you double-crossed me. And the original is like, Colonel, you double-crossed me. No, Colonel, you double-crossed me. Okay. Okay. What the fuck were they doing in this game? Uh, you double-crossed me. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, everybody. Anyway, uh, resubs. Uh, Genome with 67 months and Solidus 1833 with 18 months. Thank you, guys. Um, it's time for my masterpiece, actually. This is something I'm quite proud of. The scene <laughs> with Liquid. Oh, yeah, let's do it. You double cross me. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mance's psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mayling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid! How the- You've served your purpose? You may die now. Ah, uh, the fucking alert music. <laughs> so yeah, I changed his animation of taking his, um, uh, I guess hair tie off and his glasses into the fiddle just going up and this just works perfectly 
snake. That's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Now, what do you think he was gonna do there? <laughs> can we see him here like we can in the original? No, probably not. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Fluffy, thank you for the 15 months resub. We actually can't see him. Because he's not there. No, it's just automatically turns into a cutscene. And the real I'm just one, you can see him in the top left, very top left corner, standing there. But yeah, this goes straight into the cutscene. So no fun allowed. Liquid! Snake, did you like my sunglasses? Oh, you'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well, I must say. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly, with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. Why? It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Dye. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? Even the gun That's is wrong, right. holy shit. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. 
Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? <laughs> but I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. His choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge! You don't even understand this! You, who could kill your own real father! You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. No emotion, no Neo. You miss your <laughs> last chance. You uh, regret that forever. Is that somebody was saying that Tank Clark's performance is better in this? And no, there literally isn't a single better actor in this. He's just off. But whatever. Especially when his lines get like mistranslated or changed. When death is in freedom, the battle is decided. <laughs> or that was just cover story issued by the Pentagon. <laughs> the Pentagon. Uh, time for Rex to start moving in all its plastic glory of shitty animations. It's moving. But how do I stop it? Imagine if like you were trying to get somebody into Metal Gear and show them the seriousness of the message behind the games and your choice was Twin Snakes for I'm just one. I, I, I don't think you could convince anybody that this could be serious. If you were trying to get anybody into my game, show them Twin Snakes. Oh god. Because, you know, it has better graphics. Oh god. What's the idea here exactly? Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> Just wait until it starts moving and bouncing around during gameplay. Oh shit, we have no stinger now. Let's pick up some. The sound effect. Look at that. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh man. Come on. Waddling around some more. Nice animations. Coming. Yeah, I guess it's more ammo, maybe. Although, it should be good. Yeah, yeah, stop motion. Exactly. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Stop motion. Animation. 
because it's like the thing is mostly based on the action figure style. Um, it looks like plastic and moves like an action figure. Oh my god. Best part incoming here, of course. Another scene that they had to ruin. Did that do it? guys have listened to the music. <laughs> Fox, why? What do you want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi... You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister, but every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. This is what happens when you literally translate Japanese. That word, it must might have seemed contented. What the fuck? Who talks like that? Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. And in this, he cries like a little bitch when he gets his arm cut off. Oh well. But hey, backflips. coming up. Completely changing the mood and the tone of the, the scene and the line itself. Yep. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox! How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Fox is more dangerous than 
dangerous than a jackal! Uh-oh, but the real problem is that the sword lands right in front of Snake. Uh-oh. He destroyed the radar. I forgot to do the weakness call. Damn. Oh, well. Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox! But now you're finished! Now fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Oh well, we'll leave that for next time. No escape theme, of course. <laughs> Instead the there's doom doom. Um, After crumbs, I guess. I was taken from it's the no good. I can't do it. It's no good. I can't do it. It's no good. I can't do it. 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 Okay. of the government or anyone else fighting was the only thing the only thing I was good at but at least uh, I always fought for what I believed in snake farewell When death is entreated, the battle is decided. Of course. Everybody knows that saying. Well, you see, you can't protect anyone. Not even yourself. Uh -oh. he put the fucking sword back down <laughs> but you know there's really important shit that just happened oh my god great fox is dead colonel the less you maneuver a remote controlled missile the faster it will fly remember this if you want to fire the missile over a greater distance oh now but i mean great fox is dead colonel snake your grip has gotten stronger Looks like your hard work is paying off. Not done, Snake. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's what happens when you put in calls that shouldn't be there and forget to program where they should go. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. Ah, the music. If I could seriously give this game like the E.T. treatment where you just bury it and pretend it never existed, I would do that. Holy shit, just erase this thing from existence, please. Holy shit. It's insane that this thing even exists. Ah, get the fuck out of here. Crush you into dust! Sleeping late as usual, eh, Snake? Liquid, you're still alive. I won't die, as long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict shall breed conflict, new hatreds will arise, and our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong! There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. 
The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big boss. But father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But, they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But unlike us, they carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices? Human experiments. Huh? 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical, biological weapons, the poison gas detection units, anti-sarin injections. Oh God, the FMVs! To cover up the secret Nintendo barrel. just can't FMV. So, the so-called Gulf War that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem, signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. What the fuck is this music? That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. 
We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? That's very touching. <laughs> In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? Because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then, I'm going to go beyond, in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you. Meryl? Is she alive? Hmm. I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman, falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me! The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Meryl was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards! I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it! You'll be murdering everyone here! The scientists, the genome army, everyone! Donald, the DARPA chief, is already dead. 
So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well. That's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Flesh gloves. <laughs> the model is fucked. I oh, shall well. nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. When death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. The face. <laughs> yeah, let me show you guys what happens in this well um programmed fight. Nuclear module just a semtex. But okay. You'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. Snake. What if I do absolutely nothing? Surely he's gonna kick my ass, right? Hmm. What's wrong, Snake? Better hurry! It's going to blow! Yeah. Oop. Was there a fly? What's wrong, Snake? Come on, you can do it. Better hurry! It's going to blow! And he almost got me that time. <laughs> What's wrong, Snake? Uh... Better hurry! It's going to blow! Man, this almost happened to 3Dog. I wish 3Dog actually discovered this. I think his controller wouldn't work for a few seconds after this. But unfortunately, he What's fixed wrong, it in time snake? before it happened. Now he had to let it happen. Better hurry! <laughs> it's going to blow! Oh man, that AI. What's wrong, snake? Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Better hurry! It's, it's still talking. No! Please, no! No! Uh, it's actually due to how of um punching works and the kick having bad range and liquid just shifting all over the place, it's actually kind of annoying to do this fight. Oh, still got him. Okay. Yeah, the kick is almost useless. It's more dangerous than anything. Yep. This is nothing like the, the fight, and we just won. It's all over the place. Is that all you? Yeah, 
now he's counterattacking, so we can exploit him a little bit. Of course, just like it. What the fuck? <laughs> he fell like on his own. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, anyway, um, just like the ninja fight, in order to have a cool scene at the end, they removed the last phase of the fight. Because that's more important, I guess. So the mechanic where you have to flip him off. Um, yeah, flip him off. Just give him the middle finger. <laughs> no, you have to throw him off Rex, right? When he has no health, usually. Um, it's completely gone in this. Just as soon as his health is gone. The fight ends because that actually happens in a cutscene with much cooler animations which actually they reused as a tribute sort of thing in Avengers 4 during the fight at the end. It's kind of painful if you know what to look for that it's there. Uh. So yeah, more gameplay mechanics gone for the sake of stupid scenes. Good job on killing Meryl, everybody. Now we don't get the music, except the first two notes sound like the right, the right song for this. They troll you, but they're not. Meryl. Meryl. The first two notes, man, I got trolled so hard. <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of Enclosure, but nope. Here's some generic piano shit.
those flesh gloves. Forgive me. I gave in to my fear. I gave in to my pain. I sold your life to save my own. I'm a loser. I'm not the hero you thought I was. I'm nothing. Sorry. Forgive me. Now can't forgive anyone anymore. Otacon? She's gone, Snake. Because of me. I guess blaming yourself makes it easier, huh? Focusing on that will keep you from thinking about her death. What the hell do you know? Meryl's dead. I lost. So, are you gonna stay here and die, along with her? Snake, people die, but death is not defeat. That's what Hemingway said. I lost Wolf, too, but that wasn't defeat. She and I will be together forever. We didn't lose anything together forever it's true that wolf is dead but our love didn't die with her life isn't just a game of win or lose don't you think let's live snake there's a parking garage right next door we can get to the surface from there. Come on. I released all the security locks. It'll be okay. We can escape. You have my word on it. Otacon, you've changed. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Started. Those guys seem like they only hurry when they're destroying things. Good. Let them destroy it. But they can't destroy the human spirit. Hotakun loves to fall in his game. Okay. Let's go. Better look for the sneaky suit. Look how look how they find it. In this Come ending. On. I hope you're still watching me. You'll see if I'm a legendary man or not. Because we gotta be cool until the very end. How can we cool about how can we be cool about finding it? I think with Three Dog played this, he got the with Meryl ending, so he didn't see this. Come on, hustle. Snake, it's cold outside. You'll freeze like that. My sneaking suit. You better hurry. Hurry! Now I'm cool. Now you look like yourself again. <laughs> Yeah, a thumbs up, holy shit. Uh, I can't even tell you guys how glad I am. This is finally almost over. Holy shit. Uh, let's see who resubbed. Chaos with the uh, tier 2 for months. Thank you so much.
Squid Mark, 50 mods, Solid is done. Tier 2, 61 months. Thank you. Uh, Payukon with 20 months. Uh, Blue C Moose gifted 5 subs. Thank you so much. Confederation also 71 months. Hurry. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, and here is your generic music, which will turn into the escape theme. No. Yeah, this is worth 3 dog. Um, illustrated what the music is like. <laughs> what what is this? It's like noise. I wouldn't know what to, to call this or even tell anybody but what it sounds like. Man, listen to Three Dogs rendition of it to understand this music. When I'm gonna play Twin Snakes again? Uh, hopefully April 1st. Nobody donates a thousand dollars until then. But yeah, it's almost over. I'm so glad. And now as well, we have very few shits left to give. I'll take the wheel. Uh oh, a surveillance camera. Twin Snakes only happens on April first because it's a fucking joke, or if somebody donates a thousand dollars. So yeah. <laughs> he just walks in front of a gunfight. Oh god. Escape theme, here we come. Oh yeah, so good. Come on, I'm taking these keys and BBs to the face.
and it's not over yet. Not what you would say. But I say that with disappointment. <laughs> this fucking game. Uh We got one last okay. rules of nature coming up. Uh, I guess so. Otacon, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no use. I can't move. If he's dead, that means... Don't think about it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake. Can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested. I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear. The training exercise. All of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, about Merrill. I already know. Colonel? Meryl was... my daughter. What? I didn't find out until recently. I got a letter from her mother, my dead brother's wife. I was going to tell her after this operation was over. Colonel, I... It's okay, Snake. Thanks anyway. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, no, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Mm, it's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Okay, Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Dye. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake. It's me. Naomi. 
I heard about my brother. Uh, Fox, no, Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe. Maybe now he's fine. This music I reuse and I'm used for. Ugh. My brother was already dying. Unbelievable. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Wake up, Jennifer Hale, please. At least for the last few lines. Liquid nope. died from Fox Die too. Oh well. What about me? When am I going to go? <laughs> it's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then... and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Until today, I've only lived for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. 
What about now? I want to enjoy life. I really do. How about you, Otacon? Me? I feel like a new man. So what are you gonna do? Continue your research? No. Science and technology are fine, but... humans are my interest now. Sounds good. The whole reason I got into science in the first place was because I was no good with people. I was scared of them. I was scared of life. I thought that I could never understand them because they're so illogical. But I've finally learned how to like people. There's no reason for me to be afraid anymore. You and I are more alike than I thought. I'm no wolf. But I'm not gonna just stand on the sidelines anymore. I'm gonna stand on my own two feet. I'm not gonna hide anymore. You're giving up your stealth camo? Huh? Oh, yeah. You can have it. <laughs> so... This is where we say goodbye to our loves as well. Want me to drive? No thanks. I'd rather do it myself. No problem. Where to, Snake? My real name is David Otacon. I'm Hal, Dave. Oh, that's right. Hal. Hal and Dave. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take a trip to Jupiter. So, where are you going, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time for me to look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will you find it? I'll find it. I know I'll find it. Oh my god, it's over, finally. No more Twin Snakes for a while.
I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. You're not supposed to hear about soldiers if you get the bad ending. Uh, but... I guess you, it doesn't matter. We just hear anyway. Um... So, amazing game. Twin Snakes, huh? Let me see. Who made this game? Oh, Silicon Knights. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, great. Great bunch of folks. I, I love them, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait for... Actually, yeah, the next Silicon Knights game. Why don't we look up some Silicon Knights news? Let's see. Silicon Knights news. Aww. Silicon Knights unloads property, closes office. Uh, Silicon Knights closes office and sells kit. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, but, but what about... Let's see. Silicon Knights dev sentence in child pornography case. Uh, Precursor co-founder ex-Silicon Knights director arrested... And child pornography case. Oh, so good people. I mean, I can't wait for the next game from Silicon Knights. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> this, this is what you get from Silicon Knights. Welp. Oops. <laughs> I guess there won't be another Silicon Knights game. And for good cause, because you've seen what they do. Um, but yeah. On a more serious note, um, now let me get rid of this shit here, please. Uh, let me see. This is our last stream before the marathon, guys. Uh, and, you know, during or in the process of the marathon, we will be slowly overhauling the um, the channel you probably won't see that screen anymore that's gonna have a different screen um we're slowly working uh with artists to to change everything so we have a few new things uh, more than a few new things actually coming up we have a website we have sponsors we have new emotes we have new um channel like layout and interface and Stuff like that. Uh, if you notice in the top left, there's an empty empty space for a logo there. Um, and we have the Twitter promotion. We have... Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe it's not very easy to do. Um, how to... If it shows up, because it doesn't really show up. If it shows up, I'll, I'll show you guys. And fucking Twitter doesn't show it. It only shows a few people who retweeted. Uh, but yeah, uh, my point being, we have a bunch of shit going on. That should all sort of come to fruition at once. So it's, we're just waiting on a bunch of things to happen. Including, you know, starting the marathon. This would be the last stream before the marathon. And also the last time we're going to see... Uh, this thing, actually, no, not that thing, this thing, whoa, which is actually kind of amazing what we managed to do in a few days. Um, so we raised, we, we didn't quite get $5,000, but if you go to Twitter and you tweet something, you have the option to promote your tweet and that's what that money is. Um, you can pick any amount between 50 and 5,000. So that's what we got. Uh, there's 14 hours left, but it's really just 
uh, right until the marathon, which is, uh, I don't want to do math with time zones right now, but it's, it's pretty soon. Um, so I wanted to thank everybody for making all of these things possible. Uh, we're going to put that money towards promoting the tweet, which is essentially just paying Twitter to show your tweet to people who care about what you might do. So like people in, interested in video games will be promoting our marathon and that stranding release tweet. Um, so thanks guys, to everybody who donated and everybody who is here and helped us, you know, rack in the numbers and uh, create some sort of some sort of um, attention, it draws some sort of attention from, from people. Kojima retweeted, I should say. Kojima and Pro Kojima Productions both retweeted um, our marathon. Uh, so that's why, and you know, a bunch of other people. So that's why I'd like to, to promote that tweet even more, or maybe the, the tweet when we go live. Um, Mint, holy shit, man. Mint donated another $100. Thank you so much. Mint is who made the Twin Snakes Mirth, um, stream happen with a thousand dollars, and now he just did another hundred. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Maloxy we have for three months. Limkeys for twenty six months, and Confederations for seventy one months. Thank you so much. So we got people who notice us. People who notice uh, we have viewers, and really, what makes the channel is the viewers. Uh, we're able to, to afford, you know, the, the domain for the website, uh, the trademark for merchandise. That's another thing that's coming up, merchandise. Uh, with merchandise, I hope that, uh, at least personally, since I'm in a position to, uh, maybe some of that will show up in Twitch cons in the next years. So we'll have merchandise, we'll have sponsors, we'll have um, uh, this website, the main that I was telling you guys about. Um, so we'll, we'll have all these things coming together once this big marathon, a uh, bunch of viewers, probably, uh, retweets from Kojima, Kojima Productions, um, and this Twitter promotion, um, as well as a new channel overhaul in terms of looks. I think that's pretty much it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, we had an interview recently. We should also include that. On fandom, we have uh, an interview with me and Three Dog explaining what we do. And you can, you can find all this stuff on our um, Twitter account. So out there, things are moving, sort of, and it's all thanks to uh, what you guys made possible. Because really, the channel is only as as important as the viewers make it. So thanks for being here, guys. Thanks to everybody who contributed. Even if you're just a lurker who never speaks and just you don't have a Twitch account or anything. You just lurk and make the viewer account go up. From those guys to, you know, Mint, who donated $1,000. Everybody and every shade of support in between. Uh, thank you, guys. You, you guys make this possible. And hopefully, you know, if we actually get... Um, enough sustainability from this uh, it will mean many many more streams as regular as it gets and better streams longer streams more frequent streams and more diverse streams so it just works with everybody if you guys enjoy being here you guys like the community uh being in the chat i know some people just come here for the chat that's that's fine too um so these people you people make it possible um, so, thanks. Hey, nice. We got 69% of the goal. How cool is that? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's on 69.69, .69, but we'll have to make do. <laughs> so, yeah, next thing that's coming up is actually the, the marathon with 3Dog starting with MGS3. I mean, not right now. Whenever. We should have a countdown soon enough, I guess. So that's the next thing that's going to happen on the channel in a few hours. I hope to see you guys there. I hope that, you know, spread the war, guys. Because this is going to be, we're trying to make it the biggest, the biggest marathon ever. I'm going to go and promote the tweet now. Um, or actually, we're going to, we're going to tweet 
who are actually live with the marathon. And I'm going to promote that tweet. Probably a better idea. Um, because people can just click and, and see. We're going to word it some, you know, watch that stranding live now or something to, to draw some attention. Um, so yeah, if you guys could go ahead and spread the word, that'd be amazing too. And I think that's all. Fucking twin snakes, though. Of all things. To end this with. Uh, but yeah. We're trying to beef up the channel, and I think this pretty much ends of a chapter in the channel's life, and we're going to start a new one with this marathon slowly um, transforming things, I believe. So that's kind of cool. Chapter 3. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll do the impossible. We'll develop Chapter 3. All right, guys. That said, I think that's everything. I hope to see you guys for the marathon very soon. And I'm out now. <laughs>